Ezekiel is always seen as the biggest loser of total drama, but what if we went with the hardest challenge of all? What conditions would have to be met for this homeschooler to win total drama? Well, I'm here to take a swing at this. For episode 1, Ezekiel really doesn't have to do anything major in the challenge. Zeke was really helpful this episode and has no reason to be voted off besides overall social awkwardness. So with that, Courtney actually goes home, and that is huge because she is the reason some of his potential best allies go home. Now, to be totally clear, I am saying that Ezekiel does not say anything at the cafeteria scene. For episode 2, Ezekiel could let Eva take the dive here, but I think we can make this more interesting. Ezekiel has a big mouth, and because he doesn't really have people to talk to, he would notice Heather grab Eva's MV3 player. Being himself, he would blurt out what he just saw, and Eva would become angry at Heather and actually be thankful to Ezekiel for being honest with him. Now, she won't like Zeke as much, but this is a good start. Beyond that, I think Zeke and Tyler get along fine this episode, along with maybe Jeff who tries to teach him some ways to be cool with the ladies like himself. This is great because it keeps him as options for the future. Harold and Zeke would definitely get along as they just have that loser vibe matched perfectly. Now we have no reason to believe Zeke would actually do well in this challenge, and I doubt he will be able to convince Duncan not to sleep, so they will be sent to elimination, as was in canon. Now, Eva's attitude will still rub the team the wrong way, but not enough to vote her off, I think. Nobody will want to vote Zeke off still because he hasn't done anything wrong, so honestly, I think they will just get rid of someone annoying here, and I think the team will either vote Harold or Katie off, but I think Katie gets the boot in the end. Now, I was thinking of how episode 3 would go, but honestly, Eva being there alone probably is more than enough to beat the Screaming Gophers, and honestly, I think Zeke would tell Tyler to straighten up after his first few missed shots, which would make him play better, but it wouldn't exactly matter, as they would still win without Duncan's help. And worst case scenario, Eva will wake Duncan up and tell him to do it, and though Duncan will have an attitude, he still will help in the end, giving them the, the win over the Screaming Gophers. Now we have no reason to believe things would change in this elimination, so Noah is still going home. Episode 5 would still have Killer Bats winning, especially since Zeke would step up for Her Harold and implore them to try to get him in, to which the group would reluctantly do it. Things go largely as in canon and Justin is gone. Episode 6 is the first real change here. This is the episode Katie goes home because she wanders off with Sadie, but this time there is no Katie to screw things up for them, and in canon the group made it back before the Screaming Gophers, so honestly I think the Screaming Gophers lose this, and the vote is between Owen and Izzy here. I think Izzy has more reason to go home, but Heather actually makes a deal with Izzy that if she votes Owen off, they can be in a group to which she agrees, and I think they could probably rope someone like Cody in or Lashana in, though Lashana is very stubborn and holds grudges more than the others, so I don't know if she would 100% vote for Owen, but they seem alright for now at this point in the game, so maybe if someone like Beth goes and talks to her or Cody, they will vote for Owen, giving them 5 votes in majority. Episode 7 is going to be huge for changes here, and I think unlike in the original, it would come down to someone like Duncan or Eva needing to face their fears for the win against the Screaming Gophers, which I think both of them could do unlike Courtney, aka the worst total drama contestant in the series. So unlike in canon, the Killer Bass win another challenge. Now I think Trent is getting eliminated here due to leaving Gwen buried in for so long, and Cody is just happy to have him gone so he will easily jump on the tra train to get him out so he can have Gwen all to himself. Zeke's main team currently is Tyler, Harold, Eva a little, and Sadie who kinda adopted him as her new best friend in the game despite not exactly liking her all that much. Episode 8 begins and there are some new things happening because there are a few extra members than in canon. Actually, Killer Bass have the same amount of teammates Screaming Gophers had in canon at this point, so I think the extra group would be paired together, Eva and Tyler. Now, I don't think they get along super great since Eva is antagonistic and would probably antagonize poor Tyler here on this boat ride for being too weak compared to her while Zeke and Bridget would talk more, and Zeke would say how Jeff's gift he made for Bridget was nice considering he could have just made nothing, which it actually makes Bridget feel bad about the whole thing. Now in canon, this is where Izzy goes home, so this is where she goes here as well, I think. Episode 9 begins and Harold, Bridget, and Jeff still remain as the team shooters, 
as there isn't any reason to believe things would change, and instead of Owen being the shooter for the Screaming Gophers, it would be Gwen. Now frankly, I am not gonna have a whole season where Screaming Gophers lose, but frankly I can't imagine their team winning here with the current mutiny going on. Cody still gets sent out because of his injuries, and the episode ends. Episode 10 is largely the same, but they don't have Owen to mess it up, but even still it doesn't exactly matter as even with Owen gone, it's too late for them to win to begin with as the dessert still is the same. Beth goes home, as in canon, but next episode will start a chain reaction like none the other. Episode 11 is the first major changeup. Two members of Killer Bass are sent over to the Screaming Gophers, and I think it'll be Tyler and Eva getting sent over. Tyler is more than happy with this, as this means that he and Lindsay can finally be on a team and continue their relationship together. The first round goes the same as in canon. The second round will have Tyler replace Trent, with him having full faith in Lindsay's abilities, as he seems to just be that good, caring boyfriend type. Before, you know, he's inevitably poisoned due to the ill-prepared puffer fish Lindsay feeds him. Zeke and Sadie are teamed up in the archery contest, and Zeke tries to help Sadie along with Eva taking hits from Lashana before finally getting, not getting it knocked off on the final shot as Eva is about to storm towards her. Eva is still pissed, but is told it's okay as they won in the end by Gwen. But Chris interrupts, saying there's more to go, and Bridget and Harold help win the challenge for the killer bass, and in the final challenge, they still lose. Frankly, something about this episode has always bothered me, and it's that DJ screwed the challenge up for everyone, and yet Sadie is the one to go home, so this time Zeke gets himself, Harold, Sadie, and Bridget to vote DJ off here. Because as he adequately points out, it's mostly DJ's fault they lost. Episode 12 is going to be interesting, as there is no Courtney here, but like in canon, Gwen is able to stay in the boot camp long enough to win, and hell, I feel like Eva would as well, as she is the most physically gifted in the contest right now. Now with Duncan bullying Harold, I feel like that would get on Zeke's nerves, so he makes a plan with his group to get rid of Duncan, to which his group agrees with, and Duncan gets eliminated pre-merge. This is the first time in a while that the Screaming Gophers are actually up in members. But for episode 13, I think nothing really changes, and Harold screws everything up for the Killer Bass, sending them to elimination. Sending them to elimination, but this time I think Sadie would actually be getting sent home, as she never really was a huge, huge help in the challenges, and she was just a liability in the long run, getting her sent home. So congrats to this roster. These are the members going to merge, but for more fun, I think um, that Izzy, and let's see... Eva's still in the game, so she can't be brought back, but how about Trent being brought back since he and Gwen haven't made up yet since the Phobia Factor incident? I could bring back Duncan, but what will he really do besides try and bully Harold and be voted off again because of it? Now for more fun, let's talk about the eating challenge with men versus women. Now this has no bearing on the game, but it can pad out the runtime a little bit. Now Zeke seems to be a much more capable eater compared to DJ, but not as much as Owen. So honestly, I think the tiebreaker doesn't need to happen as no man on this team is vegetarian, meaning that they would eat the meat that Bridget wouldn't, allowing them to win before any tiebreaker. Now Trent and Izzy can be brought back, and episode 15 really doesn't change that much with Lashana winning immunity, but things really change at Elimination, where I think Eva isn't exactly friends with anyone, but instead of her being targeted, there's a bigger threat. Gwen and Trent have slightly patched things up, it's gonna take a long time till they are fully back to how things were, but for now, Gwen and Lashana go to Eva and Zeke and are like, yo, we hate Heather, let's get rid of her, and there is no plot armor that can save you here, Heather is gone. Now for episode 16, the challenge really doesn't matter as it all comes down to whoever gets Heather's key, as was in canon. So who gets that one? Well, we have four characters who could get it, but I put all of these new characters into a randomizer. And with 1 through 4, we get 2, meaning ironically enough, Ezekiel gets the immunity. Now, Lindsay and Tyler are kind of out of options here as Heather, their lifeline, is gone. But Lashana and Gwen go to them and are like, hey, get rid of Eva with us, she's kind of crazy and is on Zeke's team. Trent joins in, and I feel like Izzy will help as well because she really doesn't care as long as it's not her, so goodbye Eva, you technically made it one episode later than in canon. 
Episode 17 is the hide and seek challenge, and Lashana wins immunity like in canon. Where does that leave everyone else here? Well, this is the complicated part, and we could go in many, many different directions here. There's a three-man group with Bridget, Zeke, and Harold, which might as well be four with Jeff voting with them. Trent votes with Gwen to make things up to her, Lashana and Izzy vote for who they need to, Lindsay and Tyler are in a group together, and I think the later group would realize, hey, we could probably be beaten by the killer bass here, so Gwen teams up with Lindsay to vote off Jeff, and Lashana and Izzy join up. But Tyler is hesitant here, as that's his teammate, but he decides to vote him off for Lindsay as they threaten to kick her off if he doesn't comply. Episode 18 I think won't change much with Bridget winning this time and Lindsay coming in second to last, which technically means she's last. God, this was a terrible elimination. Sorry, Lindsay. I think everything would go in canon except Trent would be with Gwen as she kicks the killer in the jaw and would win immunity along with Trent, but it doesn't matter as Chris just decides to kick DJ out in canon for being the lamest death, quote unquote. So instead I think it would be between Bridget and Tyler, since Tyler is a klutz and would probably trip on something and Bridget doesn't strike me as able to handle this level of stress well and would probably just scream and pass out, so this is where she goes. Episode 20 for laziness sake will have Izzy leaving since she doesn't really take sides or really play the game for that matter so people will just vote her So people just vote her since she's the only real easy vote here Episode 21 will have Zeke and Harold teaming up with Lashana and Tyler being on a team and Gwen and Trent being on the final team now, Tyler is not anywhere near as gifted as Duncan, but Tyler is no slouch and is underrated, especially with someone as motivated as Lashana who can force Tyler's hand, who is kind of a mold in this case, and they are able to win immunity the same way Duncan and Lashana won immunity in canon. Tyler asks a favor of Lashana and says he cannot vote for one of his teammates again and asks if they would please vote for Gwen and Trent here for a promise that he won't ever vote for her. She agrees, and they say they will vote for Gwen, but Trent hears that, and fearing for himself, he goes to Zeke and Harold and begs them to vote for him instead of Gwen. They agree after a bit, and Trent goes to Gwen and says that she needs to vote for him instead of anyone else if she wants to continue the game. Gwen doesn't understand, but that's when Trent says that he loves her, and he believes she can do what he can't in this game, and after a heartfelt goodbye, Trent leaves like he does in canon, Gwen and Trent's relationship fully rekindled. Episode 22, I think instead of Lashana being voted out, I think Lindsay would be like, I wish Tyler were here, and then the cycle would begin and Tyler would get voted out fifth. But this isn't your video yet. You'll get your win soon enough, Tyler. I think Lashana and Gwen win, and Lashana actually votes for Zeke while Gwen votes for Harold, and Harold actually gets to Zeke to vote for him. Well, Gwen votes for Harold, and Harold actually gets Zeke to vote for him, as he has the same honor mentality he had during World Tour and decides to sacrifice himself so Zeke can get ahead, and he thanks Zeke for all he's done for him this whole time, and Zeke swears he will make it to the finals for him. Episode 25, and god this is tough as hell to think about who makes it. I think Lashana overall has more willpower than Gwen, considering that in the merge, the first merge episode, Lashana is able to defeat Eva. You know, the same Eva who was able to skin Sasquatch. So frankly, I feel like Lashana somehow, it would probably come down to a tiebreaker round, but I feel like Lashana is able to beat Gwen, and then Gwen is eliminated. The finale is here, and thank god, because I don't have to make any excuses for how Ezekiel can win this, because all finales have an alternate winner. I never said they would be the main winner. I just said I'd make them a winner. Now some of you may say this is contrived and relies heavily on circumstance, and I say leave your thoughts in the comments because it's hard to make this farmer boy a winner, when his only real two appearances are first boots. At least next we have Eva, which... Oh god, that's gonna be worse. Welcome to the next episode of the How Could X Character Win Total Drama series. Today's episode is the spokesperson for anger management, Eva, 
Now Eva is probably the most physically gifted contestant in the series, or at least in Total Drama Island and Total Drama Action. She's able to throw things such as canoes, dumbbells, and more several yards out of the cabin, and in a later episode she is shown defeating Sasquatch with relative ease. She only gets voted out because Eva is the embodiment of the sin of wrath. So how the hell can we make this character win Total Drama Island with that in mind? Well, you can't. Or at least you can't do it with normal Eva. Normal Eva is hot-headed, she's overly competitive, and she doesn't realize how far she's gone until it's too late. As a result, we need to use a different form of her. One that comes from the end of the series as Eva becomes a lot more chilled out in the finale of Total Drama Island. That is the version we will have to use here. Otherwise, I can't see any other way where Eva's anger doesn't get on the nerves of everyone. So to start off episode 1, Ezekiel still says a sexist remark, which will induce the same reaction from Eva in Ezekiel. Ezekiel is eliminated. Episode 2 is the big change here, as Eva, despite dropping the MP3 player like normal, she will instead go to someone like Bridget to ask if she's seen it and for help finding it, to which I'm sure she could rope someone on the mail team to search the mail cabin for her. Heather would still hold on to it, but accusations will start being made that someone on the other team must have stolen it, and Bridget is able to calm Eva down enough to stop her from just going and having an angry outburst at the Screaming Gophers. As the crew of Bridget, Eva, and a male of your choosing, besides probably Duncan, go to the Screaming Gophers, Heather gets insanely defensive over it, saying how it's not their fault that Eva can't keep track of her belongings, and this makes Eva mad enough to tell her to turn her pockets out, to which Heather refuses, but Lashana joins in, telling them to do it so they'll leave them alone. Heather inevitably tries to find a way out of it, but inevitably Heather gets caught stealing the MP3 and even normally would probably kill her if she found out, but this time just slides her finger across her own neck to signify that she will kill her eventually. Heather tries to explain herself, but nobody really believes it. Eva's pissed about the whole situation, but with this in mind, she has potentially saved herself from elimination. Now who would go home if Eva didn't? Honestly, I think they would vote someone they dislike, and Duncan was already making Harold's life a living hell, and so I think they vote off Harold here. Episode 4 would be would be even better with Eva getting in the way before Tyler can waste the balls on the other team. Eva alone probably could win this challenge 3-0. No one would still go home Lincoln Cannon. Episode 5 would be the first big change as they voted Harold out, but I think in the end they'd have Eva do some lifting and it would get an impressive score for the absurd things she can lift, but it wouldn't help them win in the end. Now I think this is where Bridget would go home since she's the reason they lost the challenge. Episode 6 would go mostly smoother in the camping portion, but they'd still forget Katie and Sadie, causing them to go to elimination. I don't think anyone can make a case for why Katie or Sadie don't get eliminated here, so Katie goes home like in canon. Episode 7 is practically the same, but Eva has a huge grudge with Courtney after she wouldn't jump into the slime after she was able to overcome her own fear. Eva basically says how Courtney is a liability since she kept them from winning the wheelbarrows in the first challenge, fell asleep in the second, didn't compete in the third, didn't help in the fourth, had little to do in the fifth, and now is the reason they lost this challenge again. She deserves to go home over Tyler, who was pathetic but wasn't detrimental to the challenge failure, to which Mostly everyone agrees, despite arguments, and despite Courtney making her case for why she deserves to stay and get some votes on Eva, Courtney still holds majority and gets Courtney out. Episode 8 would have Tyler and Eva sharing a canoe, and Tyler talks about how thankful he is for sticking up for him, since Courtney was getting them to vote him out. To which Eva says that she didn't do it for him, he just didn't mess up as bad as Courtney, to which Tyler just gives a nervous chuckle and looks away disappointed in himself. To which Eva asks if he's just gonna give up that easy because of one mistake, to which Tyler says he won't, but Eva says to prove it and to get them to shore first before anyone else, and they have a slight competition to which they do make it there first. From this point on, things go as in canon, besides the fact there's no Jeff and Bridget subplot for this episode, in the end the Killer Bass win and Izzy's chased away. Episode 9 would still have Killer Bass, winning as the mutiny within the Screaming Gophers would not change. Cody would still go home. Episode 10 wouldn't change and Beth got voted out again. Episode 11 would go largely the same with DJ losing the challenge for them. In canon, Sadie was only eliminated here as Courtney hated the fact she was hit by her in the challenge. So this time DJ will get his rightful elimination here with Duncan, Sadie, Eva, and Tyler voting for him. Episode 12 would actually have the Screaming Gophers losing here and Heather would try to get Justin voted off, but Justin would use his charm to get Owen, Lindsay, and Lashana to vote Heather, which all four do and Heather is eliminated. In episode 13, I think Tyler would wipe out at the end 
costing them the challenge and Tyler would hear from Duncan that they aren't going to vote off Tyler since that would make the woman to guy ratio even and they nominate Eva for an elimination but Tyler suggests Sadie to which they say that Eva is the much bigger threat they need to get rid of. Tyler goes to Eva and says he needs to return the favor she did and that the team was going to vote her off and she makes a plan with her, Tyler, and Sadie to vote Duncan out. For a merge, Izzy and Courtney would return to which Courtney would immediately make her anger known to Eva. Courtney actually plays the role Eva had in canon, trying to get Eva eliminated the entire time. And when Eva loses to Lashana, she's overjoyed, but Courtney gets eliminated just like Eva did in the canon episode, despite, you know, Eva not having immunity. Episode 16, and one of the new players would get the key Heather head, which gives immunity, so 1 through 4, and it's 4, meaning Tyler gets immunity for this episode. Justin would get all the people he can to vote off Trent, since Justin wants the alliance between Gwen and Trent dispersed. They agree, and so Trent is eliminated here. For episode 17, I think that Lashana would still win, Eva would get invincibility from tagging someone, and the girls would all talk about someone to vote off, and Tyler, Justin, and Owen are all vetoed by someone else, so they choose to vote off Jeff since nobody has any qualms about that. Episode 18 and Lindsay gets voted out the exact same way because this episode is written terribly and I don't want to mess with it until Lindsay's How Can They Win episode. Episode 19 and it's for the lamest death so I see Sadie would get eliminated here out of these options. Episode 20 I think that Izzy would shoot Justin instead of Heather by accident and as a result would get Justin eliminated as Justin couldn't make a case for why he should stay to the other females. Episode 21 and the teams would be Eva and Tyler, Izzy and Owen, and Lashana and Gwen. Izzy and Owen would win round 1, Eva and Tyler would take round 2, and Lashana and Gwen would take round 3, or apparently the only round that actually mattered in this competition. Eva and Tyler decide they want to vote Izzy, and despite Owen's protests, Lashana and Gwen agree, and Izzy is voted out 6th. Lashana will get voted out like in canon in episode 22. In episode 24, Tyler and Owen will lose like Duncan and Owen due to sticky buns, and Chef will decide to take Owen out of the game this time. The final three challenge is the same, but Eva tells Tyler he better not wimp out now. He's done worse than this through the whole game. Eventually, it would come down to I think Gwen and Tyler in a tiebreaker challenge, and whether or not Gwen or Tyler win here is irrelevant, as I could see it going either way. But I think it would come down to who has the most freebies, and Eva shares half of hers with Tyler and Gwen is eliminated. Either way, it doesn't matter because Eva becomes the main winner of the season as nobody can beat her in this competition that is mostly about physical strength. I could see it being a nice competition between the two though, but in the end Eva wins with Tyler being an alternate winner of the season. And with that, I have laid out a possible win condition. If you think it's contrived, then leave those thoughts in the comments, make the day yours, and I'll see you next time with our next contestant. Noah. If there is a character that I think gets the most amount of love despite not making it to the post-merge ever, I think Noah would take the cake. His fanbase are some of the most dedicated fans and it shows with him being brought back for the redonkulous race and his whole character being shifted in world tour to be more expressive. In fact, I think Noah being in total drama action would fix a lot of that season's issues. But in Noah's first outing, what is there to say besides he was kinda pathetic? We go from the easy strongest member of the whole series with Eva, and we go to the weakest with Noah. Noah is the self-appointed brains of the team and apparently thinks Justin is his other self since Justin has all the traits Noah himself lacks, including a later elimination. But how can we make Noah a finalist? Well, we cannot do it with base Noah. Now, unlike Ezekiel, where we can just take him at base since all his other forms don't vary enough to be helpful, Noah is a complete detriment to the group in the episode he gets voted off in, and frankly, if he just were to compete, he probably would survive an elimination, but his complete disinterest to everything is what makes him a surefire boo at some point. Instead, I think either the final episode version of Noah or Total Drama World Tour are the starting points for a Noah that is competent enough to make it far. Episode 2 and 3 of Zero changes as there would be no reason for Noah to converse with Ezekiel or Eva. However, Noah isn't gonna sit idly by. He's gonna start making some moves. He automatically becomes friends with Owen, like in World Tour, and he sees that Trent and Gwen have some unrequited love for each other, so he goes to Trent to talk to him about telling Gwen how he feels about her. Trent wants Noah to figure out how Gwen feels about him first, so that's what he does, going to Gwen, and Gwen would probably insult Noah, saying how it's great two nerds have to hit on her instead of just the one, and Noah would say something about how Gwen isn't his type in his normal sarcastic way. 
Noah would then say how he doesn't want to play Cupid, but he can sense something between Gwen and Trent, to which Gwen shoves it off, embarrassed at the idea, but then asks what his plan is in the long run. Noah says that he just wants allies so he doesn't get voted off, and doing things for people is a good way to do that. Gwen says if he really wants to help, he can get Cody to stop hitting on her and she will join him. Noah would go to Cody and would try the indirect approach while Cody is clearly in denial, but Noah gets fed up with this and grabs Cody's shoulders, telling him how Gwen has never and will never like him that way. Cody gets depressed over this news and Noah apologizes, but Cody promises not to bother her again. Noah goes back and Gwen is shocked he managed to do it and agrees to her promise and says she will see what she can do about getting Trent in on the deal. Noah goes to Cody and says that if he wants a group, that he can join his, and Cody actually accepts that deal. Now for episode 4, Noah will actually compete in round 1, but will pull a muscle while playing dodgeball and then get slammed against the glass. Everyone on his team will take him out in the next round, and it's not a great showing for Noah since he was so pathetic, but it's not the worst either, at least compared to how it was originally. Screaming Gophers will still lose once Duncan is awoken, and this is her first major change here, because Noah will have a target on his back, but compared to Lindsay, it's pretty even. Noah gets Justin on his side, as well as Cody, Owen, Gwen, and Trent to vote off Lindsay here, and she is eliminated way earlier to Heather's detriment. In episode 5, Heather will still read Gwen's diary like in canon, but this time Noah will be able to get Cody, Justin, Trent, Gwen, Lashana to all vote for Heather, as Noah doesn't have any skills that could win them the challenge, so Heather goes here, as she should have in the regular season if she didn't have so much plot armor. Episode 6 goes basically the same, with Screaming Gophers winning after Katie and Sadie get lost in the woods and show up last. Nothing really happens besides Noah trying to push Trent to make a move on Gwen. Cody talks a bit with Beth, and they acknowledge similar feelings of feeling unwanted by the opposite sex. Katie is still eliminated here. Episode 7 goes the same with Tyler going home, but in the middle of the challenge, Noah reminds Trent to go on Barry, Gwen, and that it's messed up to have her face her fear for even longer, which he does. Getting Gwen out of the sand much sooner than in the original, though she will still be pissed about being left in longer than she wanted to. Episode 8, I could see this as a nice opportunity for Noah, Beth, and Trent to get along more, as Trent asks how he can make it up for what he did to Gwen, with Beth helping as she is the only female with them, and Noah would chime in semi-sarcastically but wanting to help Trent out more and more as time goes on, showing he can care about someone. Other new teams would be Justin and Owen, and they make an alliance together while Owen does all the work paddling, and Cody and Gwen have another conversation that's awkward, but Cody asks what he can do to attract the ladies, to which Gwen just responds with being rich helps. The Screaming Gophers still lose the competition in the end, and Izzy is chased off again, though she would have gotten voted off anyway. Episode 9, and we have some big changes to talk about. Heather is not here, so the mutiny within the team would not exist. Heather is not here, so Cody does not get mauled by a bear. And Heather is not here, so Heather wouldn't be the reason for the team losing here. However, I do think Killer Bass has a much more solid team in this challenge specifically. So as a result, I think Killer Bass would still win after a much closer game than in the original. So with that, Screaming Gophers would have two targets. Owen for failing to catch DJ, and Justin, who was just pathetic in the challenge and gave up to avoid getting shot in the face and Justin is able to use his charm to get some votes on Owen and Justin tells Owen that he will be safe as long as he votes for Beth which he does but it was all a trick and Owen is sent out. For episode 10 I think Noah would be the head chef here and the groups would be Trent and Gwen, Lashana and Beth and finally Justin and Cody. Justin tries to talk to Cody about how he can help him get the ladies which gets Cody's attention but Justin says he just has to not vote him off and instead be in an alliance with him. They can get Trent voted off and Gwen will be all over him. Cody agrees with this. Now, I think that the Screaming Gophers will still lose in the end, even with the dessert not exploding. So at the end, Justin gets Beth and Lashana to vote out Trent with Cody's help. Noah realizes there's obviously a second alliance because he told Gwen, Trent, and Cody to vote off Justin. Episode 11, and I think Killer Bass lose like they do in canon. But Noah confronts Cody in the episode and tells him to swear on Gwen's life that he didn't vote for Trent, and he admits that he did vote for her, which makes Gwen live it at Cody. Sadie still gets eliminated here. Episode 12, and Gwen still wins it for the Screaming Gophers, but Justin confronts Noah and says that them together can make it to the finals easily and that they should join forces. His brawn and Noah's brain would conquer this game easily, but Noah says that Justin will probably just dispose of him as fast as he would dispose of Justin, which Justin agrees with and says that they better not lose another challenge. Courtney still leaves. 
In episode 13, I'm conflicted because Harold almost wins the challenge with the Killer Bass and only loses because he saw Heather's breasts. So this time, with no Heather, I think Killer Bass actually win. And Beth reveals that her good luck charm is from Boney Island, which Noah and Justin agree to truce to get rid of Beth since they think she jinxed the team. Izzy and Eva come back like in canon, and Eva is eliminated in the same episode she comes back on. Now for episode 16, I like doing this thing where I give a random number to each new merge contestant, and whoever gets their number picked gets Heather's key, which has immunity. So Cody, Harold, Justin, and Noah are the newest contestants, with them being numbered 1 through 4, and the person who gets the key is number 1, or Cody. And good for him, because he would most likely get voted out here otherwise. Noah wants Justin out, Justin wants Noah out, and Gwen wants Cody and Justin out for what they did to Trent. I think overall, a scattered elimination here, with different people voting for others, it would come down to Justin and Harold, and Harold would get booted. In the hide and seek challenge, Cody notices Gwen has been caught and decides to sacrifice himself so she can get immunity and to make some amends to her. I think that the girls would agree to vote Duncan out, but Gwen would have voted Cody out if he didn't do what he did. That's four votes there, so they go to Justin and Noah who are busy arguing to each other over which one should go first, and they say they're voting Duncan, to which both agree that's a fine decision, and they send Duncan home. It's time for the Notorious Bike Racing episode, and who will get eliminated here? Well, I feel like Noah would win the racing challenge, and Justin would make his second after throwing his horn from his bike on a landmine, detonating Cody's bike, and sending him flying. And Justin would be eliminated as a result. Episode 19, and I think Cody, Gwen, Lashana, and Noah are in an alliance here, and unlike in the original, DJ actually gets captured by Chef. Noah and Cody get caught together, Izzy tries to fight Chef like Duncan did in canon, and Jeff and Bridget get caught like Izzy and Owen in the original with Jeff telling Bridget to run and he'll stop Chef before getting caught and Bridget getting caught right after. Lashana has the same events occur as in canon, Gwen scores immunity like in canon, and they decide to vote Jeff off for the same reasons as in canon for why he was voted off, but this time it makes more sense since Heather isn't here. Episode 20, I think Izzy would go here only because she doesn't have an alliance and isn't as well liked as DJ or Bridget, the challenge itself isn't that important to go over. Episode 21, the teams would be Noah and Cody, DJ and Gwen, Bridget and Lashana. I think Lashana and Bridget take round 1, DJ and Gwen take round 2, and for the round that matters I think everyone is pretty even here, but I think Noah and Cody would manage to build it the fastest out of them all for an underdog victory. Noah talks to Cody and they decide to vote DJ out with Owen agreeing, and Lashana actually going to DJ and telling him the plan, and DJ, Bridget, and Lashana decide to vote for Gwen, since she wants this alliance over Noah's alliance to grow stronger. Gwen is against DJ in the tiebreaker challenge, and I think DJ would win in the end. Episode 22 and Lashana would get out like she did in canon sadly, I feel like there's a potential for both Bridget and DJ to have their names mentioned as well, but I don't want to flip that coin right now. Episode 24 and the teams are Noah and Cody versus DJ and Bridget, and I think Noah and Cody easily win this competition since they're both perfect for this kind of thing. Not the hiking itself, but they are nerdy enough to know which direction to go back to camp, and I think Chef would choose to take out DJ. It's the final three, and I think Cody would chicken out before Noah and Bridget. Redonkulous Race shows that Noah is able to handle a lot of disgusting challenges, and Bridget in episode 15 shows a lot of perseverance with her challenges. We just don't see that level of perseverance, I think, ever from Cody. So the finale is Bridget and Noah, where Cody will help him out by giving him his belt, which helps Noah to be able to shimmy up the pole. He gets help from Justin, who says that he didn't lose to a second place finisher, and gets the Eagles to leave Noah alone with his looks. And in the final run of the race, he is almost entirely out of stamina until Trent grabs his hand and leads him to the finish line with the rest of his team's support, allowing him to win with Bridget really close behind, and the season's alternate winner as a result. And with that, this is one of the ways Noah can win Total Drama Island. If you think it's contrived, then leave those thoughts in the comments, make the day yours, and I'll see you next time with our ne next contestant, Justin. Justin is one of my favorite characters in all of Total Drama. His appearance and action created a much-needed antagonist in a season with character derailment and rigged eliminations. Overall, Justin is an amazing character, and it's such a shame he finished his entire arc in action considering how much potential this character had. 
As you can probably guess, Total Drama Action Justin is the version of Justin that is needed here, as he is much more methodical and expressive than Island Justin, who doesn't even utter a word in the episode he's eliminated in. First three episodes are not important in any way, shape, or form due to how little Justin would care about the people being eliminated. And Justin would not want to converse with Noah here, as this is standard Island Noah and not World Tour Noah. So the real change occurs in episode 5, where he still competes and doesn't get a great score, but Justin will be less aloof than in canon and actually pays attention to Heather's moves, and realizes that she's a big target here, so Heather will probably try to get some votes on someone else as a result. Justin has no way of knowing he's the target here unless he questions people, and instead decides to go to Gwen and Trent to form a group to vote off Heather, and Justin is able to bring in Lashana and Owen, so I feel like Lashana would do it anyway. Now we could probably put Lindsay here as well, as it is shown that Lindsay falters to Justin until the later half of action. So Lindsay, Gwen, Trent, Justin, Lashana, and Owen all vote Heather in a surprise elimination of Heather, and Heather yells at Lindsay and Beth saying they are both traitors. Episode 6 I think goes exactly the same, but with a bit more chatter between Trent and Justin, as Justin asks Trent why he hasn't made a move on Gwen yet, since he obviously has feelings for her. Katie still gets eliminated. Episode 7 and Justin wouldn't do particularly good in his fear challenge. We see how he gets with the slightest change to his looks, so I doubt that he would be able to last a full day without his normal self being present. Screaming Gophers still win in the end and Tyler is eliminated once again. Episode 8 and Justin is able to charm the bear and the bear leaves, making Justin almost like a hero to the Gophers. Screaming Gophers still lose and Izzy still leaves though. Justin makes some moves with Beth and Lindsay and get them in an alliance with him. Episode 9 and Screaming Gophers still lose even without Heather being here to mess things up. Though Beth has some good opportunities for shots and Killer Bass not being extraordinarily talented, I think DJ alone can win this challenge for them. Current targets are both Justin and Owen. Justin for being mostly pathetic as a deer and giving up so he didn't get shot, and Owen for wasting his time chasing only one deer. Ultimately, Trent blindsides Gwen and doesn't vote Justin out only because he likes him more than Owen. Episode 10 and Justin is nominated as head chef from Beth and Lindsay, though he knows nothing about this and tells the group to do whatever they feel will help them win the challenge. Now in canon, Lashana wants to make a special appetizer, but Heather vetoes it. In this version, Justin will give full creative control so they will make what they want to make. The teams are Beth and Lindsay, Trent and Gwen, and finally Lashana and Cody. I honestly think Screaming Gophers can possibly win this because of Lashana's appetizer, which will even out the score better than in canon. Heather honestly loses this challenge for the Screaming Gophers, so without her there, there's a clear chance they win. Let's just say that Screaming Gophers are able to win here, proving Beth's Boney Island curse to be nothing more than a hoax. Because of the Killer Bass losing, I think they'd want to vote Harold out, but Duncan is able to convince the guys to keep him one more week for some fun, and they decide to instead vote out Sadie. DJ still loses the challenge for the Killer Bass in episode 11, and unlike in canon where Courtney is able to convince them to vote out Sadie, Harold would have perfect accuracy to knock the apple off Courtney's head, and so DJ has no real security blanket here, as Bridget points out that DJ did lose the challenge for them. Jeff reluctantly agrees to vote him, with Courtney doing so as well to spare Harold another week. Screaming Gophers are able to win episode 12 like in canon, and unlike in canon, Harold would rig the vote against Duncan as he doesn't want to get rid of Courtney while she was one of the reasons he's still here. Episode 13, and unlike in canon, Harold wins it for the Killer Bass, and out of everyone here, I think Cody gets eliminated here as he would probably mess something up for them. Eva and Izzy come back for Merge, and Eva is eliminated first just like in canon. I don't know how I always end up with four new people in Merge, but things won't change for episode 16 where Heather's key has a chance to be obtained by one of the new players. The numbers are 1 for Beth, 2 for Courtney, 3 for Harold, and 4 for Justin, and it is 1, so Beth obtains the immunity here. Justin gets Beth, Lindsay, Gwen, Trent, and Harold to vote for Jeff, as Jeff is probably the biggest threat here according to him. Episode 17, and I think Lashana still gets immunity with Justin being able to use either Beth or Lindsay to obtain immunity as well. Justin goes to Beth, Lindsay, Harold, and Courtney and tells them that they should vote off Gwen since she and Trent are a powerful alliance that will make it too far to stop if they let them get any farther. As a result, Gwen is eliminated. 
As you can probably guess, Justin is splitting up the current alliances for his own benefit here. Ironically enough, the three guys remaining get along really well, and Courtney is able to pick up on this with Lashana picking up on it as well. Episode 18, and I think Harold is able to win with Courtney making it second, but that's when she's told she is eliminated and she goes into the tantrum you'd expect from Courtney. Episode 19, and we have a big problem here. There's no Gwen to stop the chainsaw wielding killer with a hook for a hand, but I think Justin would be able to use his looks to stop him long enough for Chef to apprehend him. Justin gets immunity as a result, and Lindsay gets eliminated as she had the least impressive death here, with Justin telling her that he's gonna miss her and the island is gonna be a lot less beautiful now without her. Episode 20, and Izzy is once again eliminated here, as Izzy is able to see through Justin completely, which is a threat to Justin. In episode 21, the teams would be Beth and Justin, Bridget and Harold, and finally Lashana and Trent. I think Beth would be too distracted by Justin to really help in the first and second challenge, but in the final challenge, Justin would say that if she won the challenge for them, that he would take off a shirt for her, which makes her assemble the totem as fast as she could, giving them immunity. Justin would get Harold, Trent, and Beth to vote Lashana off, as she is the strongest member currently, as well as the fact that she is aware of Harold's relationship with Lashana. Harold inevitably agrees just to keep himself alive here. Episode 22, and I think Duncan would say that Harold needs to go since he rigged the vote against him, but Jeff says he misses Bridget, and that causes the chain reaction of Bridget being voted against. Episode 24, and the groups would be Justin and Trent, and Harold and Beth. Justin and Trent would begin talking, and eventually Trent would realize that Justin is responsible for Gwen going home, and gets angry, asking why he would do that, to which Justin responds by saying that he couldn't risk them getting even stronger together, and he did the same thing to Lashana and Jeff. Trent realizes he was just a pawn in the game, and he tries his best to get immunity, but Justin throws the challenge so they can vote Trent off. Back at the camp, Justin attempts to talk to Harold, but Chef interrupts them, giving immunity to Beth and Harold, and before he can vote Justin off, Justin makes his case to Chef, which is just him showing his body off, and Chef just says, There's too many ugly people. Trent, you're out. Trent is shocked and tells Harold that he's the last hope here. Harold doesn't understand what he means. Episode 25, and normally Justin wouldn't be able to win here, as he doesn't do many disgusting or harmful things to himself, but while Beth is doing her challenge, Justin takes his shirt off and calls to Beth, which Beth gets distracted and fails her challenge, eliminating her. At her elimination, Justin gives her a shirt and says that she was an excellent teammate. In the finale, Justin is able to shimmy up the pole faster than Harold, is able to use his looks for safe passage from one side of the cliff to the other, and finally is able to beat Harold in a foot race to the end, with Harold being an alternate winner of the season. Trent setting out a rock for Justin to trip over, and in the alternate ending, Justin looks back at Harold and gloats about how he played the perfect game before tripping over the rock and getting a black eye, allowing Harold to win. But in the regular ending, he would still say how he played the perfect game before leaping over the rock Trent placed and achieving victory. With that being said, this is one way Justin can win Total Drama Island. If you think this is contrived, leave those thoughts in the comments to make the day yours, and I'll see you all again real soon with our next contestant, Katie. When I say this was the toughest episode to write for, that is not a joke or an exaggeration. Katie is one of the most challenging characters to make an episode for, and unlike Ezekiel where I can make the case that she has some alliances, there are near zero alliances she can make on the Killer Bass team. But what if we don't have to let her be on the Killer Bass team? Now this may sound weird, I mean she is a member of the Killer Bass, but not really. If you recall in the first episode, Katie switches with Izzy to be on a team with Sadie. What if instead we just say that Chris doesn't let that happen? This is the first change and the best chance for Katie not to be eliminated at the same point unless we want to flip the coin that Sadie gets eliminated over Katie in episode 6. So with that, let's get started. I think Lindsay, Beth, and Katie would be in a sort of pseudo-alliance as they all get along really well while Sadie only really gets along with Bridget, but this episode isn't about her. It's about the other twin with barely any personality. Now in canon, we see that Katie is the more serious of the two, able to give her friend advice when needed, specifically at her own elimination where she gives simple advice to Sadie to keep going on. That isn't very important though, I felt the need to write it down for some reason. That being said, Katie is treated as the more emotional thinker, so with that being said, that'll be useful for later. In episode 2, Ezekiel still gets eliminated, in episode 3, I think Heather would extend the alliance to Katie as well, who would join it with Lindsay and Beth. Eva would still get eliminated here. 
Episode 4, I would go basically the same with Killer Bass winning and Noah would still be eliminated here. Episode 5 would have some big changes as it is shown that Katie loves Justin, and Katie wouldn't exactly take kindly to Heather reading out Gwen's diary as she thinks of it as a severe breach of privacy, but doesn't want to break the alliance up yet. Heather talks about voting for Justin, but Katie talks about voting for Owen or Lashana or someone else entirely, which she is convinced of with Beth and Lindsay saying he's too hot to leave, and they decide to get Owen to vote out Lashana since Heather still has beef with her. Episode 6 and things are majorly different since Katie and Sadie aren't on Killer Bass. First off, Killer Bass would win the challenge here as they were initially going to before Katie and Sadie screwed it all up. So with that, I think Owen would actually get eliminated here for overall being a nuisance to the team. Episode 7 still ends up the same with Killer Bass losing because Screaming Gophers would have 6 points compared to Killer Bass's 4 and I think Tyler still would get eliminated. Episode 8 doesn't matter if Screaming Gophers lose because Izzy gets chased off as in canon anyway, so Screaming Gophers survive an elimination. Unlike in canon though, Katie would accompany Beth so she wouldn't have the chance to take anything on Boney Island. Episode 9 and things go like in canon with the mutiny growing and ending with the Screaming Gophers losing. Cody is still eliminated due to the fact that he got mauled by a bear, and Katie is torn about whether to leave Heather or stay on her side. Episode 10 doesn't have much of note as Heather still gets locked in the freezer and the team still loses, but this time Owen isn't there to eat all the food. With that, I think Heather honestly gets eliminated here after a heart to heart with Lindsay convincing her that they don't need Heather, the new alliance being Katie, Lindsay, and Beth with Justin sometimes helping. Episode 11 is an episode where no matter what, DJ removing the blindfold is a canon event so Killer Bass loses and eliminates Sadie. Episode 12, and as long as Gwen is here, while Eva's gone, the Screaming Gophers will win. Harold rigs the vote against Courtney. Episode 13, Harold is able to win for the Killer Bass, as as long as Heather isn't here, there will be no boobies to distract Harold. The main four decide to vote out Gwen, as she is the one with the worst attitude here. Merge is here, and so are Eva and Izzy, and let's just get Eva out of here, because she is doomed to be eliminated here as long as Bridget remains. Episode 16, and four new contestants put into a number randomizer numbered 1 through 4, and the person chosen gets Heather's key that has immunity in it. 1 is Beth, 2 is Harold, 3 is Justin, and 4 is Katie, and the number is 1, meaning Beth has immunity. Now Duncan, Jeff, and DJ want to vote for Harold for rigging the vote against Courtney. Trent isn't particularly angry, but he's still a little pissed off at Beth, Katie, Justin, and Lindsay for voting Gwen, but it's not enough to make him dedicate a whole vote for them yet. Duncan goes to Trent and Justin and asks them to vote for Harold, and they both agree, sending Harold home. Now episode 17 is interesting because in canon they all were talking about sending Duncan home and the guys were talking about sending Bridget home. Now Jeff won't vote for Bridget as he states, despite the fact the numbers don't add up otherwise, but with that being said, as long as Jeff stays true to that, all the women here just outnumber all the men 5 to 4, meaning Duncan is gone here. I genuinely hate episode 18, but let's try our best here. First off, I think Izzy is going off to do Izzy things, so she's out of the running to be eliminated despite the fact she doesn't even participate in the challenge. Jeff and DJ both fail in canon, so there's no reason to believe they wouldn't fail here, which leaves Beth, Trent, Justin, Lindsay, and Katie. Lindsay is the only one we know makes it to the end, so the question is just if she's the last one or the first. I think Justin wipes out and gets minor scratches, which he cries about in confessional. I think Katie would fail, and I think Beth would make it as well as Trent. To make things interesting, let's have Beth make it last and get eliminated here. I think Bridget is also a good contender here, but she will be one of the first and not the last in my opinion. Just like in the How Can Justin Win Total Drama Island video, Justin will use his looks to stop the killer and win invincibility, and DJ will be eliminated because even though Heather isn't there, DJ will probably faint or something giving him the lamest death. In episode 20, I think Justin would get shot by Izzy, and Justin would fall down a cliff getting facial damage which makes him unattractive and unable to be saved from elimination. Episode 21 and the teams would be Jeff and Bridget, Izzy and Lindsay, and finally Trent and Katie. Honestly, all these teams are terrible, and Katie spends a long time crying crying over the totem of Sadie, but Trenton is able to cheer her up enough to solve the totem, giving them immunity. At elimination, I think that Bridget would be chosen to eliminate here by Lindsay, Trenton, and Katie. 
episode 22 and who gets voted for here is honestly a toss-up because none of the people who start the chain of Lashana are here so let's go through the cast one by one. Ezekiel would probably vote Jeff since he was on his team and Jeff voted him off. Eva would probably vote for Lindsay. Noah would vote Izzy since she's crazy. Lashana would vote Izzy. Owen would vote Katie. Tyler would vote Izzy. Cody would vote Izzy. Heather would vote Lindsay, Sadie votes for Katie due to not understanding the rules, Courtney votes Lindsay, Gwen votes Lindsay, Harold votes Izzy, Duncan votes Jeff, Beth votes Jeff, DJ votes Izzy, Justin votes Izzy, and finally Bridget votes Izzy, making the votes 3 votes Jeff, 2 votes Katie, 0 votes Trent, 4 votes Lindsay, and finally 8 votes Izzy. The final four in the teams are Jeff and Lindsay and Katie and Trent. Katie and Trent managed to win due to superior intelligence, though it's not saying much and Jeff gets eliminated by Chef. Now all these characters are similarly pathetic, with Katie being similar to Sadie and Lindsay, so she w should at the very least be okay at physical challenges but terrible at ones that are beauty based while Trent is very average at physical challenges and he noticeably says that he can't handle pain so ironically I can see any of these three being eliminated in the right circumstances but the only person who we know can't handle pain is Trent so with that we can say Trent gets eliminated as long as Lindsay doesn't get any challenges like getting her head shaved so the finals are Katie and Lindsay and at the end Sadie would root for Katie and Katie would either hug Sadie who turns out to be in front of the finish line allowing Lindsay to get past and win or Sadie is behind the finish line allowing Katie to win. And with that I have finished possibly the hardest one of these I'll have to do. It's smooth sailing from here. Next up is Tyler. If you think this is contrived, you can keep that to yourself honestly because how else am I supposed to make Katie a winner? Make the day yours and I'll see you all next time. This is the episode I've been most excited to make, as Tyler is my favorite male contestant in all told drama. His humor is unmatched by any other character, and his underdog status is something to be admired, as every small victory this character has is big in the long run. But as most good characters go, Tyler was obviously not given the light of day he so deserved, and now we are in a situation where Tyler most likely won't ever come back in any official Total Drama material ever again, with All-Stars being the last true shot of Tyler's return. So Tyler will never know how Merge actually feels. Tyler's World Tour parents took a jock who got an early elimination and had his only personality traits being how he wanted to bone with Lindsay, and changed it to a lovable himbo who believes in his girlfriend and is loyal to a fault, as well as Bond with characters we would never have seen him bond with in Island, such as Harold. So with that, let's use World Tour Tyler here since he would absolutely clown on Island Tyler if they were competing. Episode 1 does not change and I think it has some of the best early Island characterization of Tyler, probably because the crew didn't know who they were gonna flesh out yet. In episode 2, I think Tyler would actually say something in rebuttal to Courtney putting him up for elimination about how at least he helped by jumping off the cliff. And everyone would agree, but of course Ezekiel has to say a sexist remark before this witch can get eliminated. So Ezekiel goes like in canon. In episode 3, I think Tyler and Harold would begin to talk in an unlikely friendship with Harold rambling about something nerdy about how like ninjas had to stay awake for 72 hours at a time, and Tyler would respond by talking about how he could be the ninja, to which Harold would say that they always come in groups, which is subtle foreshadowing to Harold's fear of ninjas. I think this would also be a great time to have Tyler and Eva show off their athletic abilities with both of them racing each other, but Tyler trips early on into the race and Lindsay helps him up and the two walk to the cafeteria. This gives a little bit of Lindsay and Tyler development so that the relationship just isn't about how they have the hots for each other physically. Tyler would still fall asleep and Heather would recruit Lindsay and Beth, but instead of just agreeing to Heather, she says that if the two teams come together, Tyler can be on the alliance as the muscle, and Heather would say something to rebuttal it about how if they needed muscle, they'd be better off with Noah. Lindsay isn't happy about what Heather said, and that makes that clear and confessional about how she has no right to say such things about Tyler, and he's probably the smartest, most attractive guy she's met, which isn't saying a lot, but it's a thought that counts. Eva still loses her MP3 player, but this time Tyler picks it up, because at this time, Tyler was still awake, presumably, and goes to return it to Eva, who says that Tyler can make a good go for at least when she wins the competition, to which Tyler regrets giving her the MP3 player back, but hopes there's something good coming from this. Duncan still falls asleep at the end at the Screaming Gophers win. Tyler still has a grudge on Courtney, since she is kinda useless here, and without the Eva subplot, I can easily see Courtney getting the boot here, as she hasn't really gotten herself to be useful yet to the killer Tyler goes to Eva and talks about how he personally doesn't like Courtney and asks if she will vote for her, 
and Eva says she will since Tyler got the mp3 player and he asks if they know of anyone else they can get here to vote Courtney and Eva has an idea and she tells Tyler to go to get someone as well so he goes to Harold who says he wants to vote Duncan Moore and Tyler promises next time they can so they make that plan and Harold agrees. At the elimination ceremony, Tyler asks Eva who she was able to get, and she says she was able to get Sadie and Katie after threatening to shave their hair off while they slept if they didn't help her. Duncan, Jeff, DJ, and maybe Bridget decide to vote Harold as they find him to be the most annoying. Courtney would vote for Katie as she had problems with Katie and Sadie in the first episode. And finally, Eva, Tyler, Katie, Sadie, and Harold vote for Courtney, sending her out in honestly her most fair elimination. Episode 4, and nothing exactly changes, but when Tyler gets the balls, Eva would take them and he'd say how he throws like a girl before throwing his ball and slamming Lindsay in the face, to which Tyler would run to her and get hit out, like in canon. Both of them leave like in canon, and Eva honestly wins the whole competition for the killer bass. Tyler is ecstatic that they won, and when he's about to join the group in celebration, Eva slams him against the cabin and tells him that if they would have lost, he would have gone home, and he better think about what's more important, his relationship or $100,000 realizes that his current fascination he has with Lindsay is costing him the game. Noah is still eliminated like in canon. Tyler goes to Lindsay early in the morning of episode 5 and he tells her that he can't keep seeing her but before he can add the end challenges part of the sentence, Lindsay starts crying and runs off to which Tyler yells after her but Duncan shows up and says that he didn't think he had the balls to break her heart. Tyler says that he didn't mean to hurt her and Duncan says that's what they all say. The challenge goes mostly the same for the most part, but Eva is showing off her lifting talent, and as Tyler shows up, she comments on the fact that he's doing yo-yo tricks for his talent. Tyler still walks off tied up in the string as in canon, but this time won't be able to hook up with Lindsay, as instead Beth goes to him and says how what he did was inhuman and really hurt her. And Tyler tries to say that he didn't mean to, but Beth says the same thing Duncan did, which pisses Tyler off. Heather tells Lindsay that that's what love does, it crushes you on the inside. Everything past this goes as in canon with Justin and Eva getting identical scores and Harold showing up to beatbox's way to victory. There's no reason to believe the vote would be any different, so it will stay the same here as well. In episode 6, Tyler would go to Jeff and ask how he could make it up to Lindsay, to which Je Jeff just says that she will come back to him eventually, since she's obviously all about him, and Tyler takes that to heart, but it's clear Heather has filled her head to make her more angry at Tyler, and she insults his tracksuit, which makes Tyler embarrassed when he leaves before he can get roasted more. When they're camping, there isn't much to note here, and everything would go as in canon. Tyler would want to vote Katie, but he remembers the promise he made to Harold, and Eva asks who he's voting for, to which he says Duncan, which surprises Eva, but Tyler just says that he can't stand living with the guy anymore, and Eva serves as the brawn as the the team much better. Eva doesn't fully agree but says that they can string Katie and Sadie along a bit longer and she goes to them to tell them about their only lifeline here. Bridget, DJ, Duncan, and Jeff vote for Katie, while Harold, Tyler, Eva, Katie, and Sadie vote for Duncan, shocking the other four immensely but Tyler and Eva pretend to be shocked as well so people don't catch on. Episode 7 would have some real changes as Tyler would be depressed about ruining things with Lindsay and Eva would say how it's not as much fun to make fun of him when he's just agreeing with it all. And Tyler just says how he ruined everything with Lindsay, and Eva comments about how 80% of relationships fail in the first week anyway, and that's why she's married to the gym, and he should try it once in a while. Everyone talks about their fears like in canon, and Eva says her fear is dressing like a popular girl, and Tyler says his is chickens, to which Eva says how he manages to disappoint her every day more and more. Everything would go mostly as in canon until Chris would say that if Tyler can complete his challenge, then he would win invincibility for the killer bass, and Eva decides to help Tyler get some nerve and see if he's the man he says he is, and he tells Lindsay that Tyler is going to conquer his fear for her, which Lindsay is shocked by, and so is Tyler, who is able to conquer his fear with Lindsay, hoping he succeeds. With that, Screaming Gophers are up for elimination, and Heather tells Lindsay that she should vote her off for that, but will give her another chance if she votes for Lashana, to which Lindsay and Beth agree, and Heather is able to get a vote from Izzy and Owen, with the rest voting for Heather. Lashana is eliminated 5 votes to 4. Episode 8, and I can't see too many changes happening in this episode just because Eva was there. I think Eva would begin to talk strategy with Tyler and say how they should get rid of Bridget since she seems to be a huge detriment to the team, and he agrees. So with their current alliance, they get rid of Bridget, but before she can leave, Izzy is chased off like in canon, sparing Bridget another day. Episode 9 would go massively as it does in canon, but probably better from the killer bass side as there is no Courtney and Duncan subplot and also the fact that Eva is here willing to shoot some deer. Katie and Sadie would ruin the challenge for the killer bass kind of like Duncan and Courtney, but were saved by the screaming gophers being much more awful overall due to the mutiny. 
they most likely would still vote Cody out as I can't see a reason why things would change for them. Episode 10 would go massively the same, but Tyler would be paired with Eva in the cooking challenge. There's no Harold Bling subplot in this episode, but I'm sure the other guys wouldn't begin hating Harold for the things he does. Beth still gets eliminated. Episode 11, the first tag team challenge would be Tyler and DJ, and Tyler would be the one climbing, and Tyler would get hit with hot sauce unlike Duncan, but he would still manage to hang on since canonically, Tyler has some crazy strong fingers strong enough to break a piano by lightly pressing on it. Heather would pull Gwen's skirt off, and DJ would become distracted before suspending Tyler midair, and Gwen would win the first challenge. The second challenge will go as in canon, with Bridget being the chef for the bass, and Lindsay being the chef for the gophers. Jeff will still have a nice meal while Trent gets food poisoning. The third challenge will have Katie and Sadie competing for the bass, while Owen and Gwen compete for the gophers. I think Katie can be on Sadie's wavelength more than Courtney was, but she still loses the challenge. The next challenge will have Harold and Eva and Lindsay and Heather, to which Eva and Harold would win, and Eva would say that maybe Harold isn't totally worthless after all. The final challenge would be DJ and Jeff again for the bass, with Lindsay and Owen competing for the gophers, to which Bunny would still get eaten, but nobody went and got a new one, so DJ just loses here and gets eliminated if he doesn't just quit since that seems to be a pattern for him. Episode 12 and Eva most likely defeats Gwen in this challenge and Heather would get Owen and Lindsay to vote Gwen off. Episode 13, and since this would inevitably come down to the same circumstances, there's very little to talk about besides the fact that Harold wouldn't write a poem for Lashana since she's gone. Harold would probably still wipe out at the end considering Heather is here to distract Harold, but I think Eva would get her wish to vote Bridget off and she is at home since Bridget isn't in their alliance. For Merge, Izzy and Lashana would be brought back and Heather would go to Tyler and talk to him about how both Lindsay and her are in alliance with Owen and how he should join up with them or else she will get Lindsay voted off and he agrees. Lashana still wins and Lashana would go to Tyler and tell him that he can't trust Heather and that she will betray him when he isn't needed in the competition. But Tyler says that she's holding Lindsay as ransom to which Lashana says that with his numbers he should be able to take her out as long as they can also be in an alliance. Currently they have 6 votes and Tyler goes to Lindsay and tells her to vote for Heather and Lindsay after some convincing would trust Tyler here. So Heather goes home here. Episode 16 and this episode has the most new contestants out of any episode so far. So like in the others, each new contestant gets a number and if they are chosen, they get the immunity key that Heather had. 1 is for Eva, 2 is for Harold, 3 is for Katie, 4 is for Sadie, and 5 is for Tyler. And the number chosen is 1, which is to Tyler's detriment as he's reaching his boiling point with Eva. Tyler helps Lindsay obtain her key. And at the elimination ceremony, they plan to vote out Owen, but that's when Chris would do the last marshmallow to Owen and Lindsay would be eliminated. Tyler being shocked, and as he's going back to camp, Eva would slam Tyler against the cabin and say that next time he would be the one going home if he planned to get her eliminated again. Episode 17 and Lashana would still win immunity as well as Eva by capturing Tyler. Tyler would manage to capture Katie and Sadie after Eva tells him about them as a way to be nice to him, and he gets invincibility as well. Now the targets would be Jeff, Trent, Owen, or Izzy, and I think they would get with Jeff as Eva says that if it's a popularity contest, Jeff and Owen would win. Episode 18 and Trent, Jeff, Owen, Izzy, and Lashana are all non-factors in the question of who's getting eliminated. Tyler will never be able to make it through this course without hitting something and wiping out. Harold and Eva make it, and by making a bike for both of them, Katie and Sadie are able to make it last, and since technically Katie was sitting in the back, because she is the one who came in last, meaning she is eliminated. Episode 19 and a lot would go in canon, with Owen and Izzy being captured in the same way as in canon, as well as Lashana. But then we have characters we never saw here, so let's go over them. Harold would go with Tyler, and they both would attempt to fight Chef before being apprehended quickly. Sadie would cling to Tramp before running away from him as she hears rustling, and it turns out to be a rabbit, but she manages to bump into Chef, who captures her, and then Trent. Eva would defeat the real killer because, let's be honest, if she can defeat Sasquatch with little difficulty, she can beat this killer, and earns immunity, with Sadie being eliminated for the limit, for the lamest death. Episode 20 and Tyler's having a good time with Harold and Lashana when Tyler's pulled back by Eva and Eva tells him that they aren't in majority anymore, but Tyler says that they have Lashana, to which Eva says how she doesn't trust her as far as she can throw her, which is quite far admittedly. 
Izzy would end up doing her thing like in canon, this time hitting Eva, but before that she is able to rope Trent into an alliance so he isn't voted out. The votes would be Eva, Tyler, Trent, Lashana, and Harold voting for Izzy, with Izzy and Owen voting Eva. Episode 21 and the teams would be Lashana and Tyler, Harold and Eva, and finally Owen and Trent. Now I think Owen and Trent are the most well-rounded, with Lashana and Tyler being the underdogs, and Harold and Eva being the outright most competitive thanks to Eva. I think at some point during this challenge, Harold would say he's going to win for Lashana, to which Eva would make fun of him for it, and he would get the wimp key from Chris and get them both disqualified from the challenge. Lashona and Tyler would make it to the end, and we have seen how bad he is in this sort of tile matching thing, so Lashona would have to take charge here while Owen holds both Izzy and Justin's totem heads in his arms and he refuses to let them go for Trent. Lashana and Tyler win and Eva talks to Trent about how he wants Harold to go, but Trent talks about how he wants Owen to go since he was so close to getting immunity and he ruined it. In the end, they agree to vote Harold and Tyler goes to Lashana and tells her how he has to vote for whoever she says since she said that she will vote him out otherwise, to which Lashana says that they can always just vote Eva out, which Tyler decides to do with Harold, Lashana, and Owen, eliminating Eva. Episode 22, and instead of being lame and just having Lashana leave, let's just think realistically who would leave here if every contestant voted. Ezekiel would vote Trent, Courtney would vote Harold, Noah votes Owen, Justin votes for Trent, Duncan votes Harold, Cody votes Owen, Beth votes for Tyler, DJ votes for Harold, Gwen votes for Owen, Bridget votes for Owen, Heather votes Tyler, Lindsay would vote Tyler due to not understanding the rules, Jeff would vote for Harold, Katie and Sadie would vote for Lashana, Izzy would vote Owen, and finally Eva would vote for Lashana since she is the reason her plan failed in the end. So the votes would be 2 votes Trent, 3 votes Tyler, 3 votes Lashana, 4 votes Harold, and finally 5 votes Owen. Episode 24 and the teams would be Tyler and Harold and Lashana and Trent. I think Tyler and Harold would win as Tyler is much more passive and if some one on his team knows something, he won't try to butt in to act as he know as if he knows more. So he'd just follow Harold, which would lead them back to camp, but during the challenge while both Trent and Lashana and Harold and Tyler are sleeping together, Lashana would steal Harold and Tyler's stuff and takes Trent with him to try to make it to the finish line, but Harold would say something about how the current trajectory and location of the sun mixed with the current rock formation means it's a faster way to go than if they went the standard route, and Tyler and Harold would make it first, and Chef would be unhappy since his time off would be ended, but he would still get to eat a sticky bun, so he won't interfere in the elimination this time. Tyler tells Harold that they will never be able to defeat Lashana, and if he has any doubts that she will share the money, then he should vote her off, which Harold inevitably does, sending Lashana home in a similar elimination to action where Lashana forgives Harold for it. Episode 25, and I honestly think Trent would fail his challenge before either Tyler or Harold do. Tyler is a klutz, but a majority of the challenges wouldn't be affected by that, and I just think Trent would call it quits before either Harold or Tyler, since Trent even admits he can't handle pain that well. So the finale is Harold and Tyler, where at the end both Harold and Tyler are running to the finish line, and Tyler would trip over his untied shoelaces Heather untied earlier in the episode, slamming him face first next to the finish line, and Harold passes him and wins, but in the canon ending, Tyler would trip and his chin would pass the finish line, allowing him to win. If you think this is contrived, leave those thoughts in the comments below, make the day yours, and I will see you all soon with the next contestant, Izzy. Welcome back everyone to the series, and as you've read in the title, today I will be discussing how Izzy can win. Now there's a major thing to talk about with Izzy. Izzy never actually plays the game. She never forms alliances, it's debatable whether she does her best in every challenge, and it's just the embodiment of chaos wherever she goes. But that also is one of her greatest strengths in a way. If we take a popular theory into account that all of this is intentional, there is a high chance she wins Total Drama Island if she would just form connections. And in theory, she has all the ones she needs and could have easily made it farther if she just would have done that, but she doesn't and that's why she leaves in 7th place. Now she is technically our first merge contestant, as her getting chased off in the 8th episode is probably going to happen every time unless a character has an RPG they just have been waiting to use. So this episode will be a lot shorter as a result, which after doing Tyler's, I'm not exactly mad about. So let's go into what Izzy can do here in episode 20, as every single thing remains the same up to this point, and if I'm smart, I'll just start on that instead of scrambling to fit everything into place, but that could actually be a fun game, and I'm stalling a bit to give myself a bit more time. But time is up, so episode 20, and this is the perfect opportunity to get rid of Heather. Now I feel like everybody looks past this, but Heather has no immunity in this episode, and also a majority of these people either hate or are neutral towards Heather. 
so Izzy would just need to talk to Owen to vote off Heather, talk to Lashana about voting off Heather, and then talk to Gwen about voting off Heather, and she is gone. And if the theory that Izzy does all of this intentionally is true, she is a master manipulator already, so she would know how much Lashana and Gwen hate Heather, allowing her to be the mastermind she would be in World Tour until it all comes crashing down. Episode 21 and the only change here would be Izzy and Owen being on a team, and if you truly believe these two people would win the totem assembling challenge, you are a different breed. Like, I could see Gwen and Jeff winning before Owen and Izzy in that particular challenge, though Izzy and Owen would be the most fun parts of it. And now here is what is actually hard here. If they don't have immunity, then there is no actual reason for Lashana not to vote Izzy compared to Jeff. But if we want to be as canon as possible, everybody here is really uncharacteristically rude here and votes Jeff off just because he's nice, like in canon. Episode 22 and Lashana gets robbed here since it's so funny how everybody keeps saying Lashana when they don't want to say Lashana and totally hasn't made any long-lasting psychological damage due to the subversion being so terrible when this is the perfect narrative end to Heather. Episode 24 and Izzy and Gwen are on a team while Duncan and Owen are on another, and yes, this is just to avoid having Izzy and Owen on a team, as even though those two are thematically the best together, I don't want to play with that cursed team because them together either go really good or really bad with no in between. With that being said, Gwen and Izzy will be able to make it back in the nick of time as Owen tackles Chef for some sticky buns, Duncan gets sent out again. Episode 25, and this is fun, as Izzy would probably eliminate herself here, but if we're being nice to ourselves, we could just go with Gwen getting eliminated since she has lost before in episode 15. Owen quits over the ice cream brain freeze, which feels like a rigged challenge to be honest, and Izzy is the only person to eliminate herself by not stopping after the challenge is over. So if Izzy can just avoid any Poison Ivy spa treatment, she will make it to the end even better than Owen did in canon. I mean, if Izzy gets the challenge to eat grape jelly out of Owen's belly button, Izzy is going to town on that. So yeah, Gwen, unfortunately you were just matched up with two people who just are crazier than you. And in the finale, Izzy stomps Owen. By the time Owen is at the second challenge, Izzy is done with the entire thing. As long as she doesn't get distracted, which I could easily see her doing, but yeah, this is the quickest episode only because of the fact that the only thing she really is missing is a social game, which this late in the challenge doesn't mean much. All she has to do is ask to vote for the obviously better choice and also get someone besides herself voted off in the next episode, and she's in the final four easy. And by that point, it comes down to more of who's got the will to stay in instead of who lucks out and gets immunity. So with that, thank you all for watching, make the day yours, and I'll be back soon with our next contestant, Cody. So after the breather I got with Izzy, it's only natural things go back to normal with our next contestant, Cody. Cody is a great character, although he can be very persistent, and his downfall mostly occurs because of his obsession with Gwen, which ends up biting him when he goes to World Tour and meets Sierra. So I think Cody actually has all he needs in his island appearance to make it far in actuality. He has a personality, he is seemingly liked by everyone on his team, and he doesn't make any enemies besides Gwen, and that's even debatable. So first off, Cody needs to get the point that Gwen will never like him. Doesn't have to be in an earlier episode, but it needs to click by the time he's in episode 9. And second, he needs to stay at least 100 feet away from Heather so he doesn't get the barbecue chips and mauled by a bear. If this simple change is done, this small twist of fate is made, he can make it farther, and he might even win. Now there is an alternate scenario here where in episode 5 Cody, Gwen, and Justin form a group that will vote off Heather, with them also getting Lashana and Trent to help, but that wouldn't just make the vote even 5-5, five to five. and frankly I've sent Heather home way too early in many of these episodes, mostly because if she makes it farther she becomes way stronger. So we will just go with Cody simply not interacting with Heather in this episode, allowing him to avoid being mauled and avoid being the scapegoat here. Now a lot of the votes on Cody was a merciful thing as Cody just wasn't in a shape to keep going, but if he is okay then I think it would come down to Beth and Heather. Frankly, I just said that I will be giving Heather more credit, but how am I supposed to believe Heather can get a fourth vote here to even things up, let alone a fifth? when everybody despises Heather. Heather gets eliminated here, in a pretty thematic end about how her own hubris got her eliminated. Episode 10, Owen ruins everything, but Heather is not there to ask what Beth's totem is, so nobody would be the wiser as to what it is, and Cody would start, like, a little micro-alliance with Beth, as he feels kind of bad for her after losing her only real allies, though Lindsay and Beth are also in an alliance, so it's like a secret three-way alliance. 
Owen is deemed the biggest screw up here and gets eliminated by his team. Episode 11 isn't that important, as Screaming Gopher's performance does not change the outcome in any way, as Killer Bass disqualify themselves in the final round and Sadie is sent home here but Cody is feeling the pressure of being in two alliances. Episode 12, and there's nothing really to say here, is when the Screaming Gophers win there's a whole lot less to talk about compared to if they lose. Courtney goes home. Episode 13, and since Heather isn't here to distract Harold, the Killer Bass win, and Cody is in an awkward position because he either has to vote with Beth and Lindsay or vote with Trent and Gwen, with the potential of Lashana making it a tie. Lashana is tied to Gwen and Trent by their hatred of Heather, but I think Gwen and Trent wouldn't get hurt as they assume Cody will just vote for who they tell him to, and they assume Lindsay and Beth are too ignorant to, to talk to Lashana. Cody goes to Lashana and asks who she's voting for, to which she's says that she's honestly voting for him, so Cody feels a bit relieved with that, and finally makes his vote. Now this may seem like the biggest long shot of all long shots, but I feel like Lindsay could do some last minute manipulation to Cody's hormones to get him to make a brash decision that he didn't really think through, and he votes Gwen. Izzy was originally brought back for the Screaming Gophers, but honestly I think Heather is just the much better choice here, as even though a lot of Screaming Gophers know her tricks, Heather probably has made a few more tricks in her time off. Eva is also brought back like in canon, and the episode goes almost exactly the same, but Heather is a lot more ready to make alliances for her own benefit, even with people who are dangerous, so Heather goes to Eva and actually makes an alliance with her, goes to Cody and Trent and makes alliances with them, and finally makes an alliance with Harold after she points out that his own team will kill him if they find out for sure he rigged the vote. While everyone else votes Eva, Heather is able to get her alliance to vote for Beth, making it a 6-6 tie, or it would be a tie if Duncan isn't canonically shown to vote for Heather. So with that, Beth is actually eliminated here, and Heather would probably do a condescending wave goodbye to her on Beth's way out. With 11 contestants, Heather needs one more person gone before she can start cutting members, so Heather actually does what he does to Trent on Jeff, who falls for it and Bridget sees it like Gwen did in canon. With that, Heather gets immunity, and most people vote Jeff, sending him home. Heather wants to get rid of the stronger people in episode 17 and gets Bridget as well as Lashana to vote off Duncan with a promise that she herself won't vote for them next episode. Episode 18 and Heather, Eva, Lashana, and Lindsay make it to the finish line with Lindsay making it last so she gets eliminated and Heather does the same sh thing she does in canon which Lindsay tells her off for and her own alliance begins to realize they can just turn on Heather and get rid of her. Episode 19 and DJ still is the most lame death here because of Heather and Eva kills the escaped psycho killer with a chainsaw and a hook, letting the show continue. Episode 20 and Bridget finally tells Eva off, telling her that Heather most likely stole the mp3 player to make her angry and make her throw a fit before getting herself voted off as a result. This actually clicks in Eva's head and she apologizes to Bridget for being so foolish and says that she will get Heather out no matter what. Cody, Harold, and Trent talk, and they all talk about how much they don't like Heather, and Harold asks what the alternative is, since they most likely would have gotten voted out early otherwise, and Trent agrees with that, but he says that once they have the numbers, they will for sure vote her out, and for right now, they should just vote with Heather. Everyone agrees, and during the challenge, Eva would let emotions get to her head, and she'd shoot Heather with the tranquilizer like Izzy does, but this time, it was intentional. At elimination, Heather gets her group to vote off Eva, which feels real scummy, but they do so, and as Eva is leaving, Eva tells her teammates that Heather is just playing them and to open their eyes. Episode 20 and the teams are Heather and Cody, Lashana and Bridget, and Harold and Trent. Heather and Cody would end up winning the challenge as Cody needs to prove himself, and Heather says that if he loses, it would mean that Trent is more of a man than he is, making him want to win, despite Trent, Harold, and Cody agreeing that if they got on a team with Heather, they would throw the challenge. As Cody Cody wins, he realizes what he did and tried to apologize profusely, but the others aren't having it. Heather is able to get Bridget and Cody to vote off Trent, since Heather points out that Trent has a new disdain towards him, so Cody inevitably votes Trent, with Lashana also voting Trent instead of either Harold or Bridget, since she feels a kinship with Bridget since they are the odd ones out. Episode 22, and we could be lazy here and just say Lashana leaves, but let's actually be thematic here and actually have Heather get eliminated here, as all her past enemies come to bite her, and she's taken off. Episode 24, and the teams would be Cody and Harold and Lashawn and Bridget. Now I think Harold and Cody have this in the bag, but I could also see Harold falling for Lashana the way Duncan did for Heather, which would bite them in the end, but I think overall if we're talking just pure skill into account here, Cody and Harold have a clear edge. 
in that department, with Bridget and Lashana having an edge in more manipulation-based tactics. In the end, I think I will go with the more interesting scenario and have Harold and Cody be conned out of their supplies and Lashana and Bridget win. Chef would most likely send Harold home here and would say that he can't believe he was tricked by his own femme fatale. Episode 25 and Bridget, Cody, and Lashana are very strong-willed, but can you see any of them realistically drinking from the toilet like Gwen? I can't see it personally. Not even Lashana would do that. Lashana's best abilities come from spite and her wanting to prove someone else wrong. So with Eva not being there to push her, I don't think Lashana will be at her full potential here. Frankly, I think any of these people could be going home here. I don't think there is a clear winner here. So in this case, let's see which ones would allow Chef to cut their hair. The challenge that got Heather eliminated in canon. Cody would. Bridget possibly would. But I can't see Lashana doing it. Lashana takes too much pride in her appearance to do it, so I think Lashana gets the boot here. And now the finale. Now I think Cody and Bridget is mostly a stomp in Bridget's favor, but the odds can be evened out in the second challenge with both of them not wanting to walk past the beams with the eagle's eggs, until Jeff convinces Bridget to, and Lindsay convinces Cody to do it. It would then be a foot race with both of them being in similar speed categories. It's not like Noah where Cody has no stamina, and I think it's up in the air who wins this, but since it's his video, I will give Cody the win here. If you think this is contrived, leave those thoughts in the comments, make the day yours, and I'll see you all soon with our next contestant, Beth. Beth is always seen as one of two things, the friend of Lindsay, or the undeserving winner of season two. Whatever camp you're in, I'm sure it's easy to know where you fall. Just look at an image of Beth, if it causes the same reaction as staring at maggots, you're in the second category. Beth is very polarizing. Like, for every nine people I hear say that she didn't deserve to make it to the finale over Lindsay, there's one person saying they like her. Is she hated for any good reason? No, not really. They just say that she didn't deserve to make it and point out Lindsay or Harold as a better finalist, and I can see Lindsay. Apparently she was supposed to be the canon winner, and it makes sense since she kinda runs the whole show until her elimination. Which, the less I talk about that, the less angry I become. But Harold gets his character shot so hard I can't tell if they wanted him to join Trent in character assassinations. My version of Harold would never vote Lashana off when it's much better to vote for Courtney or Duncan, you know, the people who bullied him for a season and a half. But that's just my incoherent rambling about my thoughts as I'm re-watching action to make sure it's fresh in my brain since this is the ninth episode and that means I only have 11 videos of this to make for Island, not including any bonus characters I want to do or any bonus videos on Island. With that, I have stalled long enough, let's get into the video. Beth is in a bad situation, with her having zero alliances currently on the team as she broke up the alliance with Heather in the last episode. Though this is a great chance for Beth to not reveal her totem from Boney Island or Hell, just be there with the group to begin with? If I have one change allowed per episode and it's between changing an event or using a different version of the character, I'm making Beth not grab the totem. So Heather is also very good at deflecting the blame for her losses, but I don't know if it would hit the same weight with Heather blaming Owen for losing the challenge. And yes, Owen is a huge detriment to the group, but I don't think Heather can sneak away with this one. Episode 11 goes mostly the same with DJ messing up and Sadie being eliminated. Episode 12 goes mostly the same with Courtney being eliminated, though Lindsay and Beth have a lot of bonding time together to be in an alliance together again, and they talk about how much they hate Heather. Episode 13 and Killer Bass win because Heather isn't there to distract Harold, and I think Owen would honestly get eliminated here because he was a huge detriment in this episode. Merge is here, Izzy and Eva returning, Eva gets eliminated, and that's episode 15 done. Episode 16, and after I didn't get to do it with Izzy or Cody, I'm glad I get to do my favorite part again. Whenever Heather is gone, I let a random name picker choose from the new contestants, and the winner gets Heather's key, which gives immunity. And this time, I only have two new contestants, the smallest amount in the history of this series, and it's between Beth and Harold, and Beth is chosen. There's two major targets here. First is Izzy, for being too chaotic for people to like, and Harold, for being an absolute dork.
But what if subversions were made here, and the girls team up to vote out Duncan since he is the biggest threat here? That gives them six votes, and even if Izzy is temperamental, Beth could easily get Harold on board with voting out Duncan. Episode 17, and I feel like the girls would say they want to put Jeff up for elimination since he's the most popular guy, and Bridget would say no to that, which makes her a target and eliminated by Trent, DJ, and Harold, as everyone else is too scattered to make a huge impact. Episode 18, and nobody besides Lindsay crosses the line, and since she has immunity and nobody else even made it close, Chris just decides to put both Lashana and Izzy up for elimination, as neither one of them competed, and Izzy is voted out. Episode 19, and DJ would get eliminated as in canon, as even though Heather isn't here to scare DJ, DJ is notoriously bad with anything scary. Episode 20, and this is hard to really say who makes the biggest mistakes, as Izzy was a clear choice to eliminate, but why not swap one bad elimination with another? Beth, Lindsay, and Harold vote Jeff, and Lashana is able to be convinced to join, as Lashana is a huge fan of voting for anyone that isn't her. Episode 21, and I feel lucky, since the teams are easily put together, and I think the the team that will win is Trent and Gwen, considering they work well together in episode 16 and are shown to have great chemistry. Harold is smart and Lashana will keep him on track, but I think Harold benefits from being paired with anyone besides Lashana. So with that, I think Beth and Lindsay can convince Harold to vote for Lashana since it has been shown that this is an option he's willing to take as shown in action, though he clearly regrets it right after, and he should have voted either Beth or Lindsay in retrospect. Episode 22, and I think Katie and Sadie would say either Lindsay or Gwen's name, but most likely Lindsay considering they just are the same characters except Katie and Sadie have two brain cells instead of one. Episode 24, and the teams are Beth and Gwen, and then Harold and Trent. Trent ends up falling for Gwen's trap and betrays Trent to get his supplies, and is able to make it to the finish line with Harold being obscenely angry at Trent for it. Jeff would vote out Trent for overall being the bigger failure, and Gwen regrets her decision as she hoped she would at least get to do a tied vote here for Trent to win. Episode 25, and you know how Owen and Gwen team up against Heather? Well, despite her not really deserving it, Harold and Beth would team up against Gwen. And can Gwen honestly make it through the challenges Heather went through? I want to say yes, but when you think about it, what did Gwen actually survive compared to Heather? Now there is one challenge that sticks out in my head time and time again with Gwen, and it's the scene where she drinks fruit juice from a toilet. But afterwards, she looked done. She looked like she needed a stomach pump and three espresso shots to keep going. She just wouldn't be able to handle a bunch of challenges all at once, and I feel like she'd survive Chef's hair treatment, but if they're bringing Owen in to do the challenges Heather did, I don't think Gwen has that drive. To be honest, Heather was the MVP of that challenge and deserved the spot more than Gwen, since she did the more combined severe punishments, but Gwen did the outright most disgusting challenge. It will still come down to the wire, but I honestly think Gwen would forfeit after too much torture being done to her. I mean, you don't just bounce back from what Gwen had to do. This is obscenely tough though, probably the toughest one to call out of all of them. And so, Harold enjoys his third appearance in the finals, making up for all three seasons he was eliminated in. And with his episode in the future, he will have a fourth for his lack of appearance in All-Stars, which he deserved to be in over Sam. F and Harold I've always found to be different sides of the same coin, so it's extremely fitting these two are in the finals together. If you think this is contrived, leave those thoughts in the comments, make the day yours, and I'll see you soon with the adverse to Katie, Sadie. You know, I feel kind of proud of Sadie fans. Out of the two characters with the same personalities, you chose the one that was conventionally less attractive. You really don't let appearances sway your decisions, and you try to find a winner in everyone. Or, Sadie just had more time than Katie, and you picked her as it's basically choosing which side of the white bread you want, because at the end of the day, they're the same side, and they offer the same amount to you as they did to Total Drama. Which is to say, very little. But I think Sadie's survival is simpler than others. I have the option of changing a major event or adding a different version of them and like, what version do you want me to add here? They were written out of all potential development by episode 11. And it would be me grasping at straws hoping that Sadie reached a Heather level of strategy by world tour but she never got to compete. So episode 11 and all Sadie will have to do here is not shoot Courtney when the challenge is over. Yes, that is it. Maybe shoot one less to make sure Courtney gets the point this time? 
Now, it's heavily implied that if Courtney didn't get the vote changed, DJ would have been going home. So with that, DJ would go home here as Courtney wouldn't have the same drive she did as in canon to dispose of Sadie. Episode 12 and Sadie and Harold get into a small mini alliance since they realize they're the odd ones out. And Harold says that he doesn't know how much they can do with the numbers being the way they are. But that's when Harold then gets the idea to vote out Courtney his own special way. Sadie I cannot see doing well in this challenge and Screaming Gophers still win and Harold rigs the vote against Courtney. Episode 13 and Harold still wipes out at the end but Sadie is able to convince Bridget to vote for Duncan said as in a future episode, despite being in Duncan's major group, she's willing to vote out Duncan for how rude he is, so Duncan would be voted out 3-2, to two, with Duncan saying how this is messed up because Harold rigged the votes. Jeff would become a bit nervous about the fact that he is the last remaining male from Duncan's team and asks Bridget if he will be eliminated next, and Bridget says that she would never vote for him. The four talk about merge and talk about being in a killer bass alliance, and they agree, though the next episode really tests that belief with Eva coming back. Sadie gets scared of people easily like Eva, but she's also an idiot like Lindsay, so I feel like she'd offer to be in their alliance, and though Bridget wants to tell sh Sadie not to offer that to Eva, Eva would agree, but asks Bridget if she has a problem with that, to which Bridget shakes her head. Now, Bridget would really want Eva gone, but that strength doesn't just walk in every day, so she thinks about how her team our five-man team can be pretty good in the future, and I think though, and I think though, Eva is very polarizing. Heather is a much bigger threat, and Lashana, Gwen, and Trent vote Heather along with the Killer Bass Alliance. Though Harold and Jeff try to say how insane it is to team up with Eva, but Bridget stands up for her and says that Eva has been going to anger management, so she's trying to be better. Though even Bridget doesn't really believe it herself, though it does shut them up. Episode 16, and like the other episodes, each new contestant will be placed on a wheel, and the name chosen gets Heather's key, which gives immunity. And Eva is chosen, meaning she gets the immunity here. I think Izzy and Eva would have an unlikely friendship, with Sadie and Lindsay becoming friends as well. Sadie would get Trent in her alliance with Lindsay, and so Gwen is also in the alliance as a result. And Eva, Izzy, and Owen are in another alliance as a result. Jeff, Bridget, and Harold feel scared that Sadie is teaming up with other people and decides to get LaShawn on the group as well, but it's a secret to both Eva and Sadie. Sadie is jealous of Gwen since Trent pays more attention to her, so she would vote for Gwen with Lindsay after some ma minor convincing, and Eva, Izzy, and Owen vote Trent, Trent and Gwen vote Harold, and finally Lashana, Harold, Bridget, and Jeff vote for Gwen, and Lashana would inevitably do it over Izzy to get into this group. Trent is shocked but assumes that he was just outnumbered. Episode 17 is the hide and seek challenge. Lashana gets immunity and so does Eva because Eva is definitely catching someone here. The girls talk about joining in an alliance to which Sadie says that's fine as long as they don't vote off Trent. Izzy says it's fine as long as they don't vote off Owen. Bridget says it's fine as long as they don't vote off Jeff. And Lashana just joins in saying she doesn't want Harold gone. And Eva says one of them has to go and eventually they all just say they'll vote for who they end up voting for and since Bridget is still covered by skunk smell she would be voted off. Episode 18, and Eva makes it first, with Lindsay making it second, meaning she gets voted off. Nothing more to say, for my own sanity. Episode 19, Sadie tries to go to Trent, but Eva intercepts Sadie and tells her she needs to take this challenge more seriously and that she will do this for her since she saved her from being eliminated. As a result, Eva trains Sadie while everyone else is watching horror movies, and Sadie asks why she can't hang out with the others, and Eva says that she needs to get stronger before she can earn that right. And after a few more laps around the island, they can go hang out with them. I think Trent and Jeff team up with Owen and Izzy and Lashana and Harold doing the same. Eventually, Sadie loses Eve on the woods while training and hears screaming which terrifies her and Chef appears to her. But after a minute, Sadie becomes fired up to prove herself and says this must be another test from Eva and she somehow was able to beat him by charging at him, surprising Jeff who gets tackled and she rips the mask off of him before stopping her onslaught after she realizes it's just Chef. Meanwhile, Eva's in the cafeteria when she sees the real escape psycho killer with a chainsaw and a hook to which Eva beats him up in self-defense, to which everyone watches in more fear for the killer than Eva. Eva gets immunity as well as Sadie, and Eva actually says that she isn't proud of her or anything, but says she may actually have the qualities of a winner somewhere in her. I think Owen would be eliminated by Chris because his elimination was the most pathetic. I mean, he gave up his girlfriend to the killer for survival. 
Episode 20, and there's no reason to believe Izzy wouldn't do the same thing as she does in canon, rubbing people the wrong way, but Eva gets Sadie and Jeff to vote Harold instead, which they do, and Harold is gone. Episode 21, and the teams are Eva and Izzy, Jeff and Lashana, and finally Trent and Sadie. Now Sadie is going to be trying to prove herself, kind of like how Lindsay did in action, so she would take charge to which Trent would say he likes this new Sadie, which flusters Sadie. Now Jeff and Lashana is such a solid team. Jeff's carefree attitude and Lashana's ability to lead is an immense challenge for every other team, and I think they would win as a result. Sadie apologizes to Trent for failing him, and Trent tells her not to worry about it since this was the most she's been in the game this whole competition, and he tells her to keep going and she will win a challenge eventually. Sadie is happy to hear that, and Lashana offers to vote Eva off with Sadie and Trent. Eva goes to Sadie to tell her that they're voting Trent, but Sadie says it's time to lead herself, and Eva respects it but says that the best player will win. Sadie, Lashana, and Trent vote Eva, but Eva is able to somehow convince Jeff to vote for Trent, and it's a tie between the two and in the tiebreaker challenge, which will be a contest where both people need to fight to stay on a platform. Eva is able to defeat Trent to Sadie's detriment, but Trent before leaving tells Sadie to not let this all go to waste and to keep going to the end. Sadie is more fired up than ever, but sadly it's episode 22 and there is a case to be made that Jeff gets his name called here as he is more popular than Lashana, so Jeff actually gets eliminated here and I will definitely contradict this in Jeff's episode. Episode 24 and the teams would be Eva and Izzy and Lashana and Sadie. Lashana and Sadie would win after Izzy does something similar to Owen and ruins the challenge for Eva. Eva says to Sadie that she lucked out, but Chef actually decides to eliminate Izzy here and Eva gives a sly smile and says that Lady Luck is on her side. Episode 25 and Lashana and Sadie team team up against Eva, but it's more like Lashana and Eva are facing off as Eva underestimates Sadie immensely, until the hair salon challenge comes up and Sadie offers to do it, and Eva is shocked that she would do that since she's so materialistic. Sadie gets her head shaved and even Lashana is shocked she was able to go through with it. The tiebreaker would begin between Eva and Lashana, and like in episode 15, Lashana would be able to beat Eva, and before leaving, Eva would say that the two made a good team and tell Sadie she better beat Lashana. The finale, and I honestly can say that Sadie might have a chance here if the people help Sadie the way they did with Owen. I know Katie would, and they both have shown to be pretty fearless with each other's companionship, so I think Sadie can get past the second challenge before Lashana, to which it would just be a foot race, and that would determine the winner with both having alternate win conditions. In the end, I'm putting Sadie as the main winner because it's her video, but you can easily convince me she's an alternate winner. If you think this is contrived, leave those thoughts in the comments, make the day yours, and I'll see you next time with the contestant I dread the most, Courtney. I hate Courtney. I don't think I've ever tried to hide that. It's not so much Island Courtney while she's competing, but for some reason the writers decide to make her the most obnoxious contestant of all time in all of her other appearances. Always complaining, yelling, and always getting into the competition by unfair means, and then her fans have the audacity to say that she was robbed. An island, sure, but in action, she took a warp pipe all the way to merge and you think I'm gonna feel bad for her when she gets eliminated? No way. With that being said, I have almost no qualms with Island Courtney, so this might be fun to begin with. Plus, she clearly has some hold over Duncan as she is able to convince them to vote Sadie off over DJ, and you may be able to justify it by saying, oh, they just didn't want to vote DJ off since he's in their alliance, but there's a lot more than that. Duncan loves Courtney, so she can get him to do whatever she asks. Now I have one chance to change an event in the story or change the version of the character given. Here at least we will need to change an event. Courtney will find Harold in the confessional rigging the vote and will pull him out to reveal it to Chris and Chris would eliminate Harold. Or if he doesn't want to, the bass certainly will. In the next challenge, Courtney would do the skiing challenge instead of Harold and Courtney just is a fighter as shown as in a lot of her action and world tour appearances, able to keep up with the best of the cast and a simple cut rope wouldn't beat her. She'd probably just commandeer the vehicle Heather was on before crossing it for a killer bass victory. Now, there are two avenues here we can take for the Screaming Gophers elimination. I think Heather could get Lindsay as well as Gwen to vote for Owen, only because it is Owen's fault that Trent was hurt in this challenge, and Heather could sway Owen to vote for Trent with some simple bribery. 
This is a first avenue and a lot more fitting for Heather compared to the second possibility where Heather just does nothing and gets voted out, so Owen would go home here. In the next episode when Eva and Izzy come back, Courtney would talk about how unfair it is, but Chris would essentially say to cry about it with Eva telling Courtney to complain about it to her if she has a problem with it. Same things would go as in canon, and despite Courtney being gifted, I doubt she could last over Eva and Lashana, and Lashana would win immunity. Eva is ordered out still. Episode 16 goes almost exactly as in canon, with Courtney throwing a fit over none of the chests opening up with her key that she obtained before Duncan says that they can have a romantic picnic with what he got. Trent is still eliminated here because of what Heather does. Episode 17 and things would go almost exactly as in canon, with Heather and Lashana getting immunity and maybe Courtney as well. The girls try to form an alliance to vote someone off, but it fail as in canon with Jeff's name coming up instead of Owen since Owen is in here, and Courtney would take offense to Bridget putting Duncan up for elimination and we know what happens when Courtney gets offended so Bridget say goodbye. Episode 18 and Courtney and Heather would get into a fight while racing to which Courtney would win and Heather would steal Lindsay's bike before crossing the finish line after Courtney to which Heather would get the news that she's eliminated because she crossed the finish line last to which Heather tries to give the bike to Lindsay and tells her to cross the finish line now, but she doesn't do it and Heather gets forced on the boat of losers and taken away. Episode 19 and things would go even better than in canon with Courtney and Duncan being great together, and when Chef arrives, Chef is no match for Courtney, and even Duncan is a bit scared of Courtney here. Gwen still beats the real killer, and DJ gets eliminated for the lamest death. Episode 20, and Courtney teams up with Lindsay, and Courtney is shot by Izzy, which spells Izzy's doom, as Courtney's wrath is the worst thing you can inflict on someone. Izzy is eliminated like in canon. Episode 21, and the teams would be Courtney and Lindsay, Jeff and Gwen, and Lashana and Duncan. Lindsay would get on the nerves of Courtney and wouldn't do that well in the totem assembling challenge, and Duncan and Lashana would get immunity like in canon. Courtney would get her team to vote Lindsay, eliminating her. Episode 22, and Lashana still goes... sadly. Episode 24, and the teams would be Gwen and Courtney, and Jeff and Duncan. Without Owen's nose for sticky buns, I think Courtney and Gwen win pretty handily after Courtney does what Heather did to Duncan, and Duncan is chosen to be eliminated by Chef, to which Courtney would say how it's outrageous that he'd do that, and he would call their lawyers on his behalf since it breaks the rules of the game. Episode 25, and sadly Jeff will probably chicken out first. What made Gwen and Cannon work so hard was how much she wanted Heather gone, but right now there is no Heather so it'd be between Jeff and Gwen, and though Jeff is very chill, he can't handle many challenges that are about physical pain or eating gross things. So Jeff is eliminated here, sadly. Some people say Gwen and Courtney is the ideal finale of All Stars. I am not that person but Courtney should win this finale pretty easily. It was honestly more fun than I thought being able to use a character who just runs the whole game. I mean, it feels great just to have a powerful character that I don't exactly have to think about how I can convince people how they win. Because if Harold didn't rig the votes, there's a high likelihood that Courtney could win. So with that, if you think this is contrived, leave those thoughts in the comments, make the day yours, and I'll see you next time with the final pre-merge contestant, Harold. A little disclaimer before I actually get into this, I am pretty sick right now, so I don't want to make any promises about getting the next episode out soon. This was unscripted if you couldn't tell, I just wanted to get this in here to tell you guys that. If you're watching this in the future, then it's probably not a problem at all. But for the people who are watching now, today when this is uploaded, I just wanted to let you know that the next episode may be delayed. Let's get back into the video. Harold is one of the best characters in Total Drama as a whole. He is a dorky underdog in a series with characters who just are gifted in looks, athleticism, and brains. But Harold is like the opposite of all that besides brains. He's meant to be a dork, that's why people love him so much, and every moment that he succeeds is a great moment as a whole. So it feels like a missed opportunity in episode 13 where Harold ends up losing the challenge that would finally end Duncan's bullying. I mean, technically it did since he was voted out, but he then had to deal with Courtney. So if I can make one major change here, Harold wipes out like in canon, but this time instead of hitting a rock, the momentum of Heather hitting a rock sends him flying past the finish line, giving Killer Bass the win. Now I already went over who would be eliminated in this episode in Courtney's video, but the TLDR is that Heather gets Gwen and Lindsay to vote off Owen, with Heather bribing Owen to vote off Trent, 
giving her a majority and sending Owen home. Now, there is one thing that killer bass have over Screaming Gophers, and it's community. The schemers are mostly on the Screaming Gophers side, and as a result, they are not nearly as close as the killer bass are. Because Harold is able to win the challenge for the killer bass, I think he would be brought into the alliance and told that if they are to merge the teams together, this group should stay together. To which everyone agrees with that, as there is no way Lashana will work with Heather, and Gwen only worked with Heather here because she felt angry at Owen for injuring Trent. So the merge does happen as it does, and like in episode 15, Lashana wins, and Eva is sent out. Next episode, and I can't see many things going different besides Harold being pissed he got a key that opens no chest, and Trent gets eliminated once again, which Harold is okay with since Trent and Gwen are a strong alliance already. Episode 17, and Jeff's name is thrown in instead of Owen, and Bridget says no to that, which has everyone vote as they will, but Harold talks about how they shouldn't vote off one of their own like that, and instead says that they should vote off Lindsay since she is in Heather's group, or vote off Gwen since she's more talented in challenges than Lindsay, to which they decide to vote off Lindsay to weaken Heather, even though it pains everyone to do. Episode 18, and Harold makes a bike specifically for him to ride, so when the bikes are swapped, Heather gets Harold's bike and wipes out, unlike in canon, and Harold is able to make it first, with Bridget making it second, meaning Bridget is eliminated one episode longer than in canon. Episode 19 has very little to talk about, as despite Harold talks about having mad skills, he's kinda like Tyler in the way he messes up when it's really needed. So he'd be captured by Chef and DJ would be eliminated the same exact way as Heather is here. Episode 20 and Izzy still shoots Heather, Heather gets into an alliance with Duncan, and Izzy still gets eliminated. Episode 21 and the only group that would change would be Heather's, which would now have Harold instead of Owen. And honestly, I think Heather and Harold could actually win this challenge with Harold. Harold's constant talking annoying Heather, but also Harold is able to assemble the totem faster than anyone else, giving them the win. Heather goes to Duncan and tells him the plan, and Harold goes to Duncan and asks who he should vote for, and Duncan just says to vote for whoever, they're not in an alliance anymore, which confuses Harold, and Harold goes to Jeff and tells him to vote Duncan, and he is shocked before Harold tells him that Duncan said they weren't in a group anymore. Harold ends up even going to Gwen and getting her vote, as in the actual episode she didn't vote Jeff. And now that Heather has immunity, it makes sense for them to try and vote Jeff, but Harold is able to get Lashana to vote Duncan, as she probably would have anyway. Episode 22 and goodbye Jeff, it's between you and Lashana every time, and sadly for this version I have a plan here for the next episode that involves Lashana, but you will get your time to shine again soon enough. Episode 24 and the teams would be Harold and Gwen and Lashana and Heather. Now Harold isn't dumb, and he would know he's being played by Lashana when he cuddles up to him, and when he gets his stuff stolen he starts laughing, saying they fell for the bait, and when Gwen asks what he means, Harold takes out the real map and says what what they have is a replica he made that is entirely wrong, and he knows that both Lashana and Heather will fight too much to figure that out. Gwen is shocked, and with Harold's knowledge, he would lead them back to camp, and I think Heather would get eliminated here in a regular vote or by Chef. The final three are Gwen, Lashana, and Harold. Now, these characters don't have many weaknesses to exploit, but Lashana has the biggest one, and that's her appearance. She will not allow her hair to be cut kind of like Heather, so they're kind of alike more than they'd like to um, admit. However, there is another problem. Both Gwen and Lashana only show their 100% when they have a clear goal of who they want to beat. Gwen only was able to drink out of the toilet because of her desire to stop Heather from reaching the finale. In a situation like this where she is fine with everyone making it to the finale, she would not be at her 100%, and the same could be said about Lashana, as she just wanted to beat Eva, even though Heather was her main target. So with that, I think Gwen overall is weaker than Lashana on the average day. Meaning the finals are Harold and Lashana, to which Harold would be able to probably do some kind of eagle mating call to calm the eagle down enough to cross over the cliff, with the downside being that the eagle now wants to make babies with Harold, and then it would be a race to the finish line with each person getting their own special ending. If you think this is contrived, leave those thoughts in the comments below, make the day yours, and I will see you all again with the first merge contestant, Trent. Out of all the characters I thought were gonna make it to the end, Trent is definitely up there. He was a phenomenal player and sadly got tricked by Heather, sealing his fate early into Merge. But what if Heather wasn't able to get to Trent or Trent simply pushed Heather away when she tried to advance onto him? 
that is the basic event that will start all of this off. And without Trent being eliminated, who would? Well, there is a possibility that Duncan would get Trent for a guy's alliance to vote someone off, like Lindsay or Bridget or Izzy, and out of those options, they choose Izzy. The reasoning being that Izzy is the one they can trust the least out of the current roster. At least they trust her less than the current options. I mean, Izzy would be the type of person to say she will vote with you before going to the person you're voting for and telling them you told to her to vote for them, and who exactly is also voting them with you. So with that, Izzy gets taken out. Episode 17 and Owen still spills the beans about the guy's alliance to Heather, to which she would go to the girls, and Gwen is a little pissed at Trent after hearing about it, but she isn't gonna be super pissed because in reality Trent wouldn't let her go if they aren't voting Bridget off. The guys talk about voting Bridget off, but Trent talks about how she may be strong, but that's not right to Jeff since Jeff loves Bridget and it would be like getting rid of Gwen. Duncan then says that they will vote Lindsay then, to which everyone agrees as they want Heather overall to be weaker, and Lindsay is preventing that. But Duncan is thinking about cutting ties with Trent and Jeff because he doesn't want Bridget and Gwen to make it super far. Episode 18 and Jeff would be able to actually create a working bike since Bridget is still here. Heather would let DJ wipe out first, but since Izzy isn't here to take Lashana away, Lashana and Heather would fight, and Heather would inevitably wipe out with Bridget winning and Lashana making it second. And because this is possibly the worst challenge in the whole entire series, Lashana gets eliminated in another rigged elimination. This honestly makes Duncan feel a little bit better about Bridget not being eliminated, but he immediately is more into the thought of getting Bridget eliminated because now that she has won a contest, she is athletic, she is well liked, and she can be a threat to him. Episode 19 and sadly DJ goes here, and though I feel like Bridget is also an option, I don't think she'll be eliminated over DJ who didn't get caught by Chef, so DJ is eliminated this episode. Episode 20 and unlike in canon, the guys alliance would not disband because there are four guys and that holds majority, but Duncan really wants Bridget gone, so he goes to Heather and makes a short term alliance because he wants Bridget gone and he will figure out the rest. Nothing really changes and I can't see anyone being a major suspect to being voted out, so Duncan gets Heather and Owen to vote Bridget while telling Jeff to vote Owen as he tells him that he was told that Owen worked with Heather a few times, and he tells Trent to vote for Heather, so the final votes are Gwen and Trent voting Heather with Bridget voting Duncan, Jeff voting Owen, and Duncan, Heather, and Owen voting Bridget. Trent immediately catches on to what happened and tells him off for it in episode 21, to which Jeff, despite being dumb, catches on as well and says that Bridget was right about him and that he should have listened when she told him that they should bring Harold in and vote off Duncan. But Duncan says that it doesn't matter since the final three are right here, with him referring to Heather, Duncan, and Owen. The only team to change is Trent and Duncan, which Trent works hard as to make sure he gets immunity, with Duncan doing the same, but I think Jeff and Gwen would end up winning as Duncan and Trent would end up fighting too much amongst themselves to complete the totem in time. Trent goes to Owen and gives a heartfelt speech about how he doesn't want to see him work with the bad guys anymore, and Owen ends up agreeing to vote for Heather. But Owen is still offered food to vote for Trent, so Owen ends up taking a neutral stance and he votes for himself, making the votes 3 votes Heather, 2 votes Trent, and 1 vote Owen. Heather is shocked, and Duncan is a bit worried for his own safety here. Episode 22 and the person being eliminated could be Jeff, Gwen, or Owen. I think Owen would ultimately be picked because he is the loudest one out of them all, and is the most well liked by the majority of the cast, though the case can be made for Gwen as Katie and Sadie are also women. Episode 24 and the teams are Gwen and Jeff and Trent and Duncan. Now Trent does not like Duncan but he won't throw the challenge since then he would be at risk of elimination. And Trent only throws his chance for a million dollars in action, which I want to stay as true as possible to Island Trent. So he would end up winning the challenge with Duncan in the end, and Chef would decide to boot Gwen over Jeff. But before Gwen goes, she gives Trent her necklace and tells Trent to win for him. And even though Trent wants to tell her that he's not built for this like her, she tells him to push past that mental barrier to beat Duncan. Episode 25, and out of everyone here, I think Duncan most likely would chicken out first. We see that in World Tour, Duncan chickens out of eating Chinese food because it was too disgusting for him, so I doubt he could do many of the disgusting challenges that this challenge consists of. He probably could power through it, but overall he most likely would fail at the end because I just don't see Duncan being able to do what Heather was able to do. And Trent would be at his 100%, though we don't know the capabilities of that for sure. I just think that Trent would be able to keep going with Gwen's hope in him, and Jeff is just a party animal. He'd love this. So the finale is Jeff and Trent, two people who lost their girlfriends to Duncan's wrath. I think the two are pretty even, and they would both have a lot of fun, though it would still be competitive with Trent ending up winning with Gwen's help. 
with Jeff, of course, being an alternate winner. So that's that. If you think this is contrived, leave those thoughts in the comments below. Make the day yours, and I'll see you all with the next contestant, Bridget. Bridget is always a character I think is overlooked quite a bit in Total Drama as a whole, and it's understandable as in two of her appearances she is a very early boot. I wouldn't be surprised if people just forgot she was a character who even Duncan was afraid of facing. I mean, she gets treated like a total chump in World Tour compared to her island appearance. Bridget almost had the key to getting Duncan eliminated. She was so close to doing it, but all she had to do was stop thinking in terms of girls versus guys and start thinking about what alliances she actually has. We can assume Gwen and Lashana voted Duncan since that was the plan from the beginning. We can assume Bridget also did the same here. However, that's where things become more complicated because Heather looks stunned when Bridget gets eliminated, but she made it clear she was voting for Owen. Izzy said she would also join with Heather, so we can assume she also voted Owen despite her protests over it. Duncan, DJ, and Owen vote for Bridget, which means there's one more character left unaccounted for in the key to Bridget's survival, Jeff. Jeff makes it clear he doesn't want to vote Bridget and ends up not voting Bridget, which makes this whole thing not work unless he lied or Izzy voted for Bridget, which is a very Izzy thing to do. However, we will work under the suspicion that Jeff just said that to Bridget as to make her feel better about the whole thing. Bridget would go to Jeff and ask if they could vote Duncan off, and Jeff would be even more frazzled as now he has to vote for someone on the guys alliance and the leader of it at that. But with some convincing, Jeff does agree to do it for Bridget, and Duncan is sent home with four votes. Episode 18 and Bridget would still be here, which means Jeff creates a functional bike. DJ honestly has a good chance of crossing the finish line as well as Bridget here, but I think at the end Lindsay still loses and gets eliminated. Episode 19 would go almost exactly the same besides the fact that Bridget and Jeff would be together so DJ would take Owen instead to go to the bathroom and Owen would be lured to the sound of an ice cream van before DJ runs off after seeing Heather like in canon. Izzy takes Duncan's role here and fights off Jeff and Gwen ends up getting immunity which means nothing as DJ just gets forced out anyway. Episode 20 and Izzy still shoots Heather but I have a lot less reason to believe that Bridget would vote for Izzy over Heather. In canon, we can assume Duncan and Heather did, as well as Lashana, since Lashana has a huge disdain towards Izzy, but realistically, everyone else should have voted Heather unless someone like Jeff or Owen threw a vote onto Duncan, which is possible, but even then it would be a tie overall. Overall, this vote just doesn't make any sense unless you go under the pretense that they would want Heather to do the punishment. Here though, I don't think Bridget would let Heather have any more mercy and she would get Jeff and Owen and Gwen to vote Heather with her, eliminating Heather. Episode 21's and the teams would be Jeff and Izzy, Lashana and Gwen, and Bridget and Owen. I shouldn't have to say it, but Lashana and Gwen are the clear winners here. They both are very methodical and would just excel together in ways we haven't really seen, even in the Redonculus race. Though they would falter more and more physical based challenges like in the second challenge. Realistically, I think this is where Izzy goes, as in canon they only voted Jeff off because Heather couldn't beat Nice, which I guess if the finale was originally planned to be a jury vote, like Survivor, that would make sense. But overall, it feels kind of out of place considering what we got. As a result, Izzy would get majority voted and would be leaving now. Episode 22, when there is a high likelihood for everyone to leave, but Lashana will be eliminated here like in canon because we know Gwen and Owen don't get chosen because they were still in at this point. And I don't know about Bridget and Jeff realistically, they could be chosen, but there's too many unknowns here to really say for sure one of them would be eliminated over Lashana, so let's just go with what is known and eliminate Lashana. Episode 24, and the teams would be Bridget and Gwen and Jeff and Owen. Bridget would trick Jeff and steal his supplies, but would feel extremely guilty about it, though Gwen would calm her nerves. Jeff isn't as smart as Duncan, though Owen and Jeff would get along much better than Owen and Duncan did, with the end being Owen still running and eating Chef's sticky buns, and I can't see Chef not eliminating Owen here over Jeff. I mean, Jeff hasn't really done anything for Chef to dislike him, unlike Duncan who was the troublemaker around the island, as a result Owen would be eliminated. Episode 25, and I could definitely see Bridget willing to give up first, but Jeff would most definitely take Bridget's place if he thinks the challenge will be too tough for Bridget to handle like he did in episode 15. As a result, I think though Jeff is very competent in this challenge, there would be a challenge eventually he would back out of even more than Gwen. 
who feels more defensive since there's an obvious team dynamic that's working against her, making her not at her 100%, but like a strong 80 to 90%. So Jeff would be eliminated after he takes a challenge for Bridget that was too painful slash disgusting slash he didn't fulfill the criteria. The finale, and I think Bridget should take this here as her athleticism exceeds Gwen's, but Gwen is no slouch either, and at the end, like always, it would come down to the foot race, and Bridget is the canon winner, with Gwen being an alternate one. If you think this is contrived, leave those thoughts in the comments, make the day yours, and I'll see you all with the next contestant, Lindsay. Lindsay is a character who I think has gotten a lot more popular over the years, with people truly realizing how rigged her eliminations were compared to Courtney. So hopefully giving her a win in this series will slightly fix things. I think episode 18 is a great episode because it shows how no matter what, the writers can just create any terrible challenge for your favorite character to be eliminated. This is totally sarcasm by the way, and they didn't have to show off that knowledge twice by eliminating DJ to get the point across that they can just choose to eliminate your character even if it devalues the series, but I digress. Seriously, this challenge just is written terribly, and I'm sure you've heard plenty about it from others, so I won't be long. Basically, this challenge is two parts. The first part, you build a bike, and then they are swapped with someone else. The second part is racing past an obstacle course, and the last person to pass gets eliminated. So the real issue is that wording right there. The last person to pass gets eliminated. So since technically, Lindsay passed last despite being the second and only other person to cross, she gets eliminated. I don't have to explain how that's dumb, because basically if you aren't first, you may as well just wipe out so you aren't counted in the total. No, here's how I will fix it. Chris clearly had intentions of some of them wiping out due to it being an obstacle course. Instead, the rules would be that whoever passes gets immunity. That is a much better incentive for people to succeed, and it wouldn't devalue one of Lindsay's greatest achievements in Ireland. So who gets eliminated now? Well, Izzy worked with Heather quite a few times, so she could possibly work with her again to take out someone like Duncan, and Izzy could either bribe or just ask Owen to join the vote with her. Lashana could be convinced by Heather to vote Duncan even after all Izzy did to her this episode, so it wouldn't matter how many votes Duncan could get, because Duncan gets eliminated and the guy's alliance would flounder without the leader. Episode 19 and DJ still gets eliminated, but Duncan isn't there so there wouldn't be a fight scene with him and Chef. I think there could be a scene referencing this scene in Halloween Resurrection. Man, don't you know we were looking all over this motherfucker for you? And why the hell you dress like me anyway? I ain't paying you to be Michael Myers, I'm playing Michael Myers! With Chef meeting the real killer before walking off angrily, and the real killer is just left confused before going to meet Gwen and getting beaten on. Episode 20 and Izzy still shoots Heather, which leads to her elimination, and that means also that Lindsay cleans the communal washrooms instead of Duncan, but don't worry because things change in episode 21. The teams this time would be Lashana and Lindsay, Jeff and Gwen, and Owen and Heather. Lindsay actually is able to come up with helpful ideas in the challenges, and Lashana begins asking Lindsay why she even stays with Heather, which Lindsay doesn't really have a great answer for besides their BFFs, and Lashana just strikes it down saying that Heather just views her as a vote and that's all. Lindsay is shocked, but Heather isn't gonna play dumb here. She knows that Lashana will try turning Lindsay against her, so she makes sure not to piss Owen off this time by insulting Izzy and instead just tries to finish the totem pole without Owen's help. To which she fails, compared to Lindsay and Lashana who managed to do it in an unlikely duo. Heather goes to Lindsay and congratulates her on the victory and says that she knew her BFF could do it and that she can have her nail polish as a reward for winning. This actually shocks everyone still remaining, as they all thought that Heather was just heartless. Of course this is just an act, but Heather knows that since she didn't win the challenge that she needs 4 votes. She is able to get Jeff, who thinks she's actually nicer than he thought, Owen, Lindsay, and herself to vote off Lashana before she leaves Lashana warns Lindsay and says that she better not let Heather play her forever. Episode 22 and either Jeff or Owen would be picked normally, and I'm gonna say Lashana actually succeeds in getting a Heather chain off. Due to her being the first one to say anything in this situation, Duncan will easily get on the Heather 
Heather chain because he would blame Heather for losing. Episode 24 would have Gwen and Lindsay on a team, and Lindsay could most likely steal the supplies from Jeff or Owen, but would she be smart enough to think of that idea? I doubt it for this current version of her, and as a result, Jeff and Owen win, and Gwen is eliminated. But Gwen and Lindsay had gotten along over the day, and she tells her that she's smarter than Heather gave her credit for after spending a whole day with her. Episode 25, and this is tough because Lindsay doesn't seem to be anything special and her competition is extremely fierce, but I think Jeff and Lindsay and Owen would be kind of cheering each other on, and Jeff and Owen would get into a contest against each other, seeing which one can do the most dares, which would end in each contestant having to do the challenge that got them eliminated in episode 15, and Lindsay would fail still as she wouldn't let her hair get cut, Owen would still fail because he's human, and Jeff would actually manage to succeed, so Owen and Lindsay would be put in a final, final round where the two must build a statue of Chris out of marshmallows and the winner gets to stay. Lindsay doesn't make the best one ever, but it's better than Owen since he just eats all the marshmallows and is eliminated, but he's happy he made it that far and also got to eat marshmallows before he left. The finale would be Jeff and Lindsay, with Lindsay winning since it's her episode, and that's that. If you think this can try, leave those thoughts in the comments below, make the day yours, and I'll see you next time with the next contestant, DJ. DJ was always the nice guy in a series of characters who really just want to take the worst out of people. It always disappointed me how he was eliminated in this episode just because he found Chris's secret base and got himself eliminated, which always felt like a terrible way to write DJ out of the story. A lot of these merge episodes just really feel like they couldn't figure out a way for Heather to remain, so they just made the competition rigged. So to make this fair, let's make episode 19 a vote episode. Izzy, Lashana, and Heather would vote Owen here while the guys alliance plus Gwen would vote off Heather, getting rid of her in an ironic fashion because if she just had Lindsay, she could have tied the votes with someone else. Episode 20 and DJ would be shot instead of Heather by Izzy because if she mistook Heather for a deer, DJ who has shown a great proficiency in acting like a deer will definitely be shot by Izzy. This will definitely rub the guys alliance the wrong way but Duncan is scheming here as he still dislikes Jeff for not voting Bridget. In the next episode we see how Duncan still holds that grudge against Jeff, so with some number advantages, he would get Gwen, himself, Izzy, and Owen to vote for Jeff. As Izzy doesn't want to go home, and Owen doesn't want to see his crush go, and also Gwen still doesn't like Jeff since they were never on a team together, so Jeff would be eliminated in a 4-3 to three vote. Now for episode 21, the teams would be DJ and Gwen, Duncan and Lashana, and Izzy and Owen. Izzy still hates Owen here after the events of episode 19, so she would be doing everything in her power to have Duncan and Lashana get immunity so that the main targets would be gone and they would vote Owen or DJ off, but hopefully Owen. I could see some great development between DJ and Gwen here, but I think in the end Lashana and Duncan win. Izzy makes a deal with Duncan where if they vote Owen off, she will vote for anyone else, including herself. Duncan likes that deal and gets Gwen and DJ to vote Owen off. The best written episode is here and Lashana still goes. Episode 24 and the teams are Izzy and Gwen versus DJ and Duncan. Izzy is gonna want Duncan out and she is happy she made that deal as she basically played Duncan in the last episode for a free pass to the final three. And she is able to win with Gwen and Chef votes out Duncan like in canon. Episode 25 and Izzy would be an easy pass here. Literally nothing this challenge could throw at Izzy would phase her, but it's between DJ and Gwen and DJ can survive the gross challenges with his mama spice since it literally makes garbage taste good and I think after a while Gwen would tap out, especially without the drive to beat Heather here. Sorry Gwen, but DJ just had a literal cheat code that was mama spice. The finale and Owen would be helping Izzy while everyone else would be helping DJ. I think early in the episode Justin would go to DJ and say that he will help DJ get the money, as long as he gets 20% of it. DJ wants to say how that isn't fair, but Justin says that if Owen is going to help Izzy, he deserves some help too for how far he's gotten without hurting anyone. In the race when Izzy is passing DJ pretty handily, Izzy will be distracted by Justin, allowing DJ to pass her and get the win here. I don't know what the alternate win condition Izzy could have is, but that's how DJ can win Total Drama Island. If you think this is contrived, leave those thoughts in the comments, make the day yours, and I'll see you all with our next contestant, Jeff.
Jeff's elimination is probably the worst one if we are just going off of normal eliminations. Normally I can convince myself that it makes sense, but even after watching this over and over and over, I just can't make sense of this episode. Heather does not have any immunity here in this episode, yet everyone just decides to vote off Jeff because he's too nice. This doesn't make any sense unless the plan originally for the finale was a jury vote, and even then, why would they keep the most manipulative person around? I mean, Gwen and Lashana should be delighted Heather's vulnerable for once and vote for her immediately. Jeff doesn't have beef with anyone besides Heather, and that would make it a tied vote with Duncan, Heather, and Owen voting Jeff, which is really uncharacteristically mean of Owen to do since he loves Jeff. No. This will be fixed here with the characters actually voting for who they should here. Owen votes Heather, Jeff votes Heather, Gwen votes Heather, and Lashana votes Heather, eliminating Heather like she deserved to be. Episode 22 and Lashana would still be eliminated because this episode is like the holy trinity of rigged Total Drama Island episodes along with Lindsay's and DJ's. Episode 24 and Jeff and Gwen are on a team while Duncan and Owen are on the other. I have no reason to believe that things would be that different for Duncan and Owen, and even if they are more coordinated than Jeff and Gwen, I doubt they could beat Jeff and Gwen who became quite a good team near the end of episode 21. So with that, they would win this challenge and Duncan would be eliminated once again. Episode 25 and Gwen would most likely be the one leaving here. I can't see a world where she could be Owen or Jeff. But with that being said, we are now at the finale already, and as you can probably guess, these episodes are just gonna get shorter because there's less and less to talk about here. The finale should be easy for Jeff to win, but I think the same win conditions for Owen would apply here but Jeff would be the main winner even still. With that, this is the end of our shortest video yet. If you think this is contrived, leave those thoughts in the comments below, make the day yours, and I'll see you all next time with our next contestant, Lashana. Like I said in the last episode of the series, Lashana's elimination is in the top 3 worst in all of Total Drama Island. Even though Jeff's doesn't make sense, at least he got the chance at a fair vote. What is there really to say about Lashana's in comparison? If you haven't seen it, you should check out how utterly rigged it is. It is episode 22 of Total Drama Island. The whole series is on YouTube. But with that being said, Lashana's elimination is in the holy trinity of unfair eliminations, along with Lindsay and DJ's. So to simply fix this, we will actually make this a normal vote with actual votes for each individual contestant. And come on, let's be real here and realize who would be eliminated. And that would be Heather. So episode 22 ends with a majority vote against Heather in an ironic way that would honestly suit her better, since it would actually have her consequences meeting back up with her. Episode 24 and Gwen and Lashana would be on a team versus Duncan and Owen. Gwen and Lashana would still win either by being better than Owen and Duncan or just because Owen is too focused on sticky buns to actually win the challenge, allowing Gwen and Lashana to win in the end. And Duncan would be booted like in canon, I feel. Episode 25 and Gwen would be the most likely one to leave here. We can see what Lashana is able to go through when push comes to shove in episode 15 compared to Gwen, so there's no doubt in my mind her and Owen could outlast Gwen, making the finale Owen and Lashana. Now as you can probably guess, I will have Lashana win this as it is her video, and this is way shorter than the other episodes, but like, I only had two real episodes to cover with not much changing with her inclusion due to how late in the series this was. With that being said, if you think this is contrived, leave those thoughts in the comments, make the day yours, and I'll see you all with the second to last contestant, Duncan. Duncan, in my opinion, plays the best game out of anyone in Total Drama Island canon, so it really sucks how he just gets eliminated by Chef at the end when he was so close to the finish. I think episode 24 could have easily been his for the taking if he didn't make one simple mistake and that was letting Heather get so close to him so she could steal his supplies. To make this work, Duncan and Owen would need to be separated from Gwen and Heather or just have Duncan be awake the whole night as he's shown he is capable of in episodes like episode 3 with him staying up for upwards of 72 hours at a time. So this should be a breeze for him and also what he should be doing anyway considering he's around Heather. So Duncan stops Heather from stealing his belongings, and Gwen and Heather are left kind of in the dark while Duncan and Owen are able to win in the end. Out of Gwen and Heather, I honestly think he would pick Heather over Gwen because we see that Chef does respect Gwen like in episode 12 when he says he would go to combat with her any day after surviving Chef's boot camp, so with that, Heather is gone. 
Episode 25 is tough because although Duncan is incredibly resistant, we actually do not know what eliminated him in episode 15, so it could be anything from something insanely gross to something insanely painful to something like Gwen's elimination. We just don't know, but if we are giving him the maximum benefit of the doubt here, he probably was eliminated on a technicality rather than outright failing a challenge because he was able to survive snapping turtles hawked at him by Chef, so I don't think there would be many things eliminating him. But we know that Gwen and Duncan have a rivalry between the two in which both push each other to their limits, so the tiebreaker challenge would be making it through what eliminated them in episode 15 like in Lindsay's episode, and I think Duncan could make it giving him the benefit of the doubt here, while Owen and Gwen would fail again. The next challenge would be building a statue of Chris made out of marshmallows, and once again Owen would eat all the marshmallows, disqualifying him, though he is just happy to have made it so far. The finale is Duncan and Gwen, and this is a pretty thematic ending, with both characters being pretty even until Duncan wins in the end. If you think this is contrived, leave those thoughts in the comments below, make the day yours, and I'll see you all with the final contestant in this series from Total Drama Island, Heather. As a kid, I despised Heather, but as I grew up, I realized the necessity of antagonists in stories, and though I think a lot are better than others in Total Drama, Heather always has a soft spot for me, in every season besides All Stars, for just how ruthless she plays the game. And though some eliminations were rigged for her to stay, her resilience is really tested in the episode she gets eliminated in, where she does the most dares out of anyone, and yet in a single moment of weakness gets eliminated, which really sucks because Gwen just kinda gets carried to the finals when she puts in less effort overall. So to fix this, we will have Heather before the competition begins, telling Owen that if the final round is a popularity contest, he will easily win. So it would be stupid to not team up with her, even if he hates her. And Owen agrees, so Gwen actually becomes the main target here. As a result, after a long series of dares, she will tap out, as even though she wants to prove Heather wrong and get her out, there is no way she can go through back-to-back -back challenges, especially with what Heather went through. In the finale, Heather will place the chocolate bar laced with laxatives for Owen instead of Gwen this time, and Owen will definitely eat it. I doubt there will be many people, if any, rooting for Heather here, but Heather is more likely to win in the end over Owen as a result of her getting a severe time advantage over Owen who was exiting his bowels. And this is it for how can Heather win Total Drama Island and the series as a whole. I just want to give a big thanks to everyone who has watched every episode in the series so far as it's been quite the ride and I can't wait to get started on the next big project. Before I do Total Drama action though, I do have some more Island videos in mind, including one I'm not sure how many of you will expect. But with that, if you think this is contrived, leave those thoughts in the comments below, make the day yours, and I'll see you all with a new video very soon. Mr. Coconut plays one of the best games in Total Drama history, so it sucks how he's taken out by Chris so close to the end. If we want Mr. Coconut to win, we need to lean into his tactical nature. Rather than letting Owen blow his cover, he'll stay more under the radar. Which shouldn't be difficult, as he's just a coconut. Or is he? We see Mr. Coconut die twice across the series. But he always returns. Not only does he return from death, but he can seemingly teleport across the world, with him somehow ending up in Brazil. Anyways, for Mr. Coconut to even have a shot at winning, he'd need to become a more villainous character. So let's look at how Mr. Coconut can win Total Drama Island. In Camp Castaways, Mr. Coconut's role doesn't change much. This will be a consistent theme as he tries to stay under the radar. He still saves the group to get in their good graces, but he gets into Owen's head a bit and tells him to chill throughout the episode. When it's time for the elimination, there isn't one, since Chris doesn't need Owen to not be insane. In Are We There, Yeti, not much changes also, other than Chef's recap. Mr. Coconut will no longer be murdered since he wasn't found out. Now, as we know, Mr. Coconut is a strategic genius and he will likely attempt to get rid of the two most likely people to find him out, Heather and especially Duncan. Heather has been putting her nose into pretty much everything, and Duncan and Owen are very close friends. So, Mr. Coconut's number one priority right now is getting Duncan out. So he sabotages them, whispering in Owen's ear about sticky buns, causing him not to secure the win and that any sane competitor would vote out Duncan. Mr. Coconut assumed that it'd be a regular vote, but instead, Chef chose who to eliminate. Luckily for him, Chef hates Duncan. 
Now that Mr. Coconut's number one competition is gone, he has to focus on Heather. And I triple dog dare you, Owen will definitely be feeling the effects of a psychic coconut talking to him. By this time, he's likely less pumped for the all-you-can-eat pancakes, and Heather has probably noticed this by now and is catching on. Owen would likely be less talkative during his challenges, which would ironically help Heather. Eventually, when Gwen asks to split the freebies, Mr. Coconut will tell him to split to get rid of Heather. When Heather actually stays in, Mr. Coconut starts to get nervous. So he uses his genius strategy to come up with his best plan yet. He puts a pipe bomb in Chef's razor. In the finale, it doesn't really matter what Gwen and Owen do. Mr. Coconut is winning no matter what. But I see two possible ways of it happening. One, the much lamer of the two options, with Mr. Coconut teleporting to the $100,000 and getting out fast. Or two, when one of the two win, Mr. Coconut attacks them like Feral Zeke. And if they somehow overpower him, he has a backup plan. I hope you all enjoyed this video. In case you're wondering why I sound so weird, it's because I snorted 37 grams of helium and not because I'm a special guest star. My question of the week for you is, who's winning, Goku or Mr. Coconut? Leave your comments below. Have a good one, y'all, and make the day yours.